Hello everybody, good evening, welcome to Crafters TV. My name is Ben Mosby and you're here for our final show of the week, Second Chance Sunday, where we basically bring you some of our favourite deals uh, from over the course of the last few weeks and we give you the opportunity to get your hands on them. Uh, it may well be that you've already purchased uh, quite a few of the goodies we've got on this show. However, with things like the mahoosive, still uber popular Sunflower Collection, you might still want to pick up uh, bits and pieces, more of your consumables, those kind of things. But the Sunflower Collection is on the show. We've also got the Say It With Style Collection, which has been so popular since we launched it a few weeks back. We've got the Summer Gnomes. We'll be showing you those a little bit later on. We've got 3D scene builders. We've got the Scratch and Reveal. We've also got a lovely collection um, of Christmas dies, which you might just want to get your hands on, plus uh, double-sided dies, a collection which I think you're going to absolutely love, Christmassy sort of themed, uh, with a bit of a twist as well. All of that to come over the course of this show. And, of course, this is the last show where you can can um, use your summer sea sun sale uh, well I say use it you can get on the website it's the last live show for the summer sea sun sale uh, it's here just check out the website uh, click on the uh, summer sea sun sale tab and you will see oh look there's a vintage snowman launching tomorrow uh, you will see all of these deals so you click on the tab which you are most interested in 50 50% uh, off 55 60 65 70 75 percent off new lines have been added I know over the last couple of days as well so it's definitely worth having a little bit of a look here but look you've got deals on the Cyrus signature watercolor Christmas uh, there are dies there's embossing folders there's stamps in there as well I mean there's absolutely loads and loads and loads also worth bearing in mind if you have um, not yet checked your emails check them because you'll find a discount code in there too which you can use on the last day so it's a discount code to use on top of the discount that you're going to get on the website on top of the discount that you'll get for your club inspire um membership so where, wherever you are within club inspire you'll get that discount on top of the discount on top of the discount uh, but please make sure that if you want to pick up any of those deals and indeed use that discount code which you will have been sent you do it before midnight tonight because the summer sea sun sale ends midnight tonight wherever you are and then as of tomorrow we are all steam ahead all steam ahead full steam ahead for our uh, christmas in july with some amazing launches coming your way uh, we've got lots of hellos to do which i'll do in just a few moments time superstar susie on the socials uh, and it is not just me over the course of the next couple of hours she has been my my crafty partner in crime today uh, we've had an absolute laugh we've got uh, all glittery and sparkly with the uh, color me happy if you missed it earlier on we were getting all dimensional with our uh, boxes and uh, all sorts a little bit earlier in masterclass and uh, well who knows what's going to happen over the course of this show I know it's gonna be fantastic uh, it is the one and only <laughs> sorry <laughs> one and only and they said it again a legend in her own lunchtime <laughs> <laughs> Debbie Robinson. Thank you very much. Thank you, Ben. I, I promise you, I'm going to remain professional throughout the whole two <laughs> hours. That's a big um, promise. Uh, it's a big promise, and I'm going to stick to it. Okay. Uh, but we've got loads lined up. It's a great opportunity, Second Chance Sunday, to get hold of those amazing deals <laughs> that we've had over the course um, and uh, of the last week plus some old returning favourites, mm. people put in requests as well and ask us for certain things. So we always take that into consideration as well. But we're going to kickstart things with the gorgeous sunflower. I, honestly, I absolutely adore this collection. Really is an absolute beautiful, beautiful, glorious, sunny, put a smile on your face oh, yes. kind of collection. The other kind of thing that will put a smile on your face it is the gorgeous, and I love this one because it's Debbie Fisher's Craft Along project from the other day. Um, the beautiful garden gnomes in their summer scenes. They're brilliant. They are such good fun. I honestly love them. That's me and you um, look. It is. <laughs> I was just going to say, me sat swinging in my tree while you're there, ready with a bunch of flowers, all ready for me. The absolutely beautiful collection. We've got the amazing Saint with Style. If you caught the uh, Craft Along yesterday, um, we had a little bit of a mashup with the Saint with Style, with the um, sunflowers and with the Simline dies that we had on the show but this simply is a fantastic system that creates all of your sentiments covering all sorts of different occasions in a ring binder form with an additional extra bonus box um, which is going to make making tags easy making the sentiments easy to finish off your projects or whatever it is that you are making absolutely amazing I absolutely love that collection with a passion 
We've also got other returning favourites, the beautiful Grand Edge Swirls. Oh, yeah. These are simply stunning, simply easy to use. The concept behind there is that you can cut away and then paper piece back in or add lots of elements to them or of course use them as a lovely grand swirl or a rather large swirl um, we've also got on here and i might not be able to get through every single demo but we'll certainly show you as many samples as we can as well as the many demos um, which is the beautiful scene builder mm. i love this collection i do uh, honestly a load of fun elements to create got a theme going off with swings at the minute, haven't I? Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah I, just, I was drawn to this one, let me just tell you. Absolutely beautiful scene builder uh, with lots of lovely images on there. We've got some gorgeous flowers, decoupage flowers, um, which I believe I think our Corinne launched um, uh, yeah. a couple of weeks ago. Absolutely beautiful, real 3D gorgeous flowers. Um, we've even got some, we've got some great Christmas deals. Yeah. So the lovely uh, layerable, double-sided layerable toppers um, where you can create uh, your little snowmen there um, with Cute. ease in the one pass of the machine and then choose and chop away your colours. We've also got some lovely layerable sentiments uh, which have got a lovely twist on the fact that you li literally can use the scrap bits of your mm. papers and create some really beautiful pieces for your Christmas cards to make Christmas style crafting incredibly easy. We've got a lot, and that's just because there's still some under here that I haven't picked out. <clears throat> We've got a lot to cover in this show. So get yourself settled in, grab yourself a cuppa, uh, and come and join us for a couple of hours of, of guaranteed crafty inspiration and fun. Oh, yes, we can guarantee all of that. Um, and as always, if you do want to get in touch over the course of the show, please do. Any questions or indeed any testimonials about any of the products that you may already have from the show, tell everybody else why you love them, uh, what you've been using them for. And also, uh, genuinely would like to know how you've been celebrating because, um, of course, it's uh, Independence Day tomorrow, isn't it? Fourth of July. Uh, are you celebrating already? So it's kind of like July the 4th Eve today. So uh, <laughs> what do you do to celebrate? What's been going on today? I would love to know because uh, I definitely want to celebrate with you tomorrow because I'm going to be here with Jan all day. Uh, BJ Clark joins us saying good morning from Oysterville, Washington. A great day at the beach. Sounds nice. Kimberly uh, J. Millwood says good afternoon everyone. It's hot and sunny in North Carolina. Jessica Stricker is in from Southern Illinois. Lynn Harvey says hi again. Ben, Debbie, the CTV team. Um, we've got uh, Jamie producing. Yay. He says uh, we've, <laughs> we've also got uh, Charlotte on the ones and twos. Hello. And um, we got... Um, Time, assistant producer oh. Tyne today, um, who, is she sleeping? She's snoozing at the minute, but she's been providing us with lots of smiles over the course of the day today. Uh, Linny says, hello again, everyone. I wonder what antics the terrible two will get up to this evening. I have no idea what you're talking about. What do you mean? Uh, Gilmore says, wow, this is going to be a fabulous show, recapping a lot of the recent launches. Hello, Ben, Debbie, CTV team and Crafty Peeps. Mary Pat's in, Pammy is in, Jane Wilson says, good evening, everybody, and hello to Four Holidays Designs, and also Linda Ryan, uh, who's with us from Dudley. We'll do a few more. <laughs> we'll do a few more uh, hellos in just a second. I'll do them now, actually. Uh, Mo number two says, hello. It's my second chance Sunday to see all of you CC fans. Hope you're all doing great today. Uh, Rosalind Russell from Maryland. Hello to uh, Julie Vergara from California. And hello to Beth Noob, who is in from Minna. Shota. Let's have a quick look at the... Uh, well, say a quick look. It's hard to have a quick look at this because it's so massive. But I think... The last time I showed you this, or maybe the time before, it took me eight minutes to get through it. So I'm, I'm going to go a little bit quicker um, because it is a mahoosive collection for, uh, for what I think is an unbelievable price. When we launched this, um, I saw the platinum price on this. For everything that you get, it's unbelievable. 175 elements in total, um, including all your consumables, your dies, your stamps, and much more. Uh, and of course, we absolutely cram this full of consumable elements for you. £75.99 or $98.04. The paper pad, honestly, is just absolutely gorgeous. Um, you've got double-sided papers here once again. And, and I said it the other day, like, if you could take a smile and put it into a paper pad, I think this is what it would look like. It, it is absolutely stunning. The artwork on the front, of course, with all those flowers, the sunflowers there is phenomenal. And then the reverse side of these gives you that ability to, uh, to mat and layer, to create really simply, because they all match up. Um, but as you look kind of deeper into the papers, you're gonna see you know, all of those beautiful fonts in there. You're gonna see um, sort of images of the florals in there, plenty of snippability. And I kind of feel we've, we've done like sunflowers through all the seasons here with the different colors that you've got within the pad itself i love when we put like that that faint font in the background as well which you've got plenty of i mean 
It's such a gorgeous, gorgeous paper pad. If you've already bought this collection, please come back and you know have a little nibble at the individuals and, and top up uh, on the paper pads and top up on the consumables because you will absolutely uh, be using this, I'm sure, time and time again. 36 sheets in your 12 by 12, mirrored in your six by six, so you get everything that you've just seen there in um, miniature. You've also got so many elements in here that is going to allow you to create your, um, your foam flowers. So we're giving you 12 sheets of your flower forming foam in all of the relevant colours. Um, the vellum that you've got in here as well, again, 24 sheets of beautiful vellum. I mean, again, absolutely gorgeous. So if I just give you a quick little um, flick through some of the designs. Again, they mirror the designs that you're going to be getting in the paper pad. So it just makes it all super, super craftable for you. No thinking to be done. You're just literally selecting the images that you love the best and you're getting going. And then on top of that, you're also going to get, if you love the linen deal that we had earlier on, uh, you've got your um, luxury linen cardstock. Um, again, 24 sheets in all of these beautiful colours. So all your consumables match up absolutely beautiful for you, making it very easy to craft with. And then you're going to get all of your hardware. I love how now, how now? How now, brown cow? I love how now... <laughs> Brown Carl. <laughs> we are um, doing embossing folders with the relevant stencils as well. I just think it is phenomenal that you've got the ability to emboss and then add the stencil detail over the top. That is your sumptuous sunflowers. Then you've got your hello sunshine, which is a load of beautiful kind of um, sentiments uh, which are really kind of uplifting you know if you just want to be able to uh, pop a, a beautiful sentiment on a card on a project to somebody to put a smile on their face that's what this is going to do you get your little sunshine die included in there too you've got your fabulous frame again which is about creating stamping out that gorgeous frame uh, getting all of your tri blends out coloring that in uh, stamping in of course fabulous frame but if you've got other sentiments that you want to pop in there you can do uh, you've then got the sunflower splendor which is that gorgeous die uh, creating card right there paper piecing opportunities galore you've also got that um unbelievable striking sunflower um, again with all the papers that you've got the cardstock the um the foam it's literally all about building your own little sunflower there then you've got your sun-kissed wishes again really really beautiful verses right here and i love that sunflower stamp so detailed so beautiful um, and some lovely sentiments in stamp form uh, just a wildflower in love with the sunshine and then lastly in the set if you love doing your um layering stamps and this set is absolutely for you once again uh, that is your sunflower bouquet um, all nice and easy to do because it's all numbered up for you to create beautiful images like you are seeing just there record time I've got through that and hopefully um, if you haven't yet got this collection you're thinking about jumping in and doing it because I think for that price if you're platinum or indeed if you're purchasing for the first time today join Club Inspire and get 20% off your first order I think that is a brilliant price for what is it's a smile within a collection, this, Debbie, isn't it? It's like, it just puts a smile on your face. Like me. Exactly right. Like me. It's me in a form of it a is. collection. Absolutely. Uh, nailed that one, Beth. Nailed it. Nailed it. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to use one of my favourite parts of the collection. I haven't really um, done many demos with this particular part because there's oh, so yeah. many gorgeous um, elements to this Nature's Garden collection. Yeah. Um, I'm going to concentrate on the embossing folder. 3D embossing folder with the stencils and show you a couple of little techniques that you can do with them. So 3D folder, two stencils that are going to make colouring made easy when it comes to this embossing folder. Um, so I've got a piece of uh, multi-purpose cardstock. I'm going to pop that into the centre of my folder. I've cut it down to size. This is five by seven. Whenever I'm doing um, embossing with a five by seven, yeah. I actually go down to um, f oh my god, excuse me. <coughs> You're right there. Is that all right? Yes. I have to go down to six and three quarters by four and uh, four and three quarters, so it fits in that folder, and then I can sit it in there and get it positioned how I like without having to do much snipping down. Of course, you can always start larger and then work your way. Um, cut you cut your way down. I'm going to say cut your way up then, but cut your way down. Looking for my plates because I think I think they're buried underneath all the things that I've got underneath. Oh, there's a lot of stuff under here today, Ken. A lot of stuff. Oh, I know. So we've got our uh, cutting plate, and I'm popping that onto the top of the cutting plate. This is a 3D embossing folder, so please remember, when you're using it, it the combination is your magnetic shim and then your other plastic shim. If you find that's too much pressure, I would suggest taking this out and trying it with just your cutting plate 
and your plastic shim on the top. But uh, try it first, see what it looks like. If you, like I said, if it's too much pressure, then you can always take one of the plate shims out. And when I say one of the plate shims out, take the magnetic one out. You don't want to be removing the plastic shim, you don't want to be removing the cutting plate. Um, it's just that um, magnetic shim. So I'm going to take that off. And then you'll see the in-depth and how beautiful, even on white cardstock, um, that this looks. It's mm. incredible. The, the attention to detail on this is just phenomenal. Uh, you've got that background level um, of embossed. Then you've got all the petals, and you can see where it's raised even higher. So these petals are flatter than these. That's that 3D feature to it, where you've got multiple layers of layering um, in that one um, folder. However... I love colouring these images in, but it can be a bit on what I'm going to call the tricky side. Oh. Uh, however, we've tried to make it a little bit easy for you by giving you a couple of stencils that are going to work with this. So you literally line these stencils up and you can see how it's made that the stencil will fit over the two flowers, yeah. like so. And then the stencil will also fit over the... Um, <coughs> get the right way around. The uh, extra little pieces, like the leaves and i'll start with those so i'll show you what i mean um normally i'd start with a flower but there's no right or wrong way at all um, and i'm just going to go in mm, yep line that up if you want to tape it down you can do if you want to just pop it on and hold it with your hand you can do if you want to use your repositional spray you can do yeah you've got options with it um because i've got a smaller area i'm going to use one of my finger daubers for this so i'm going to bring in one of my finger uh, daubers i've got some inks i've got frosty jade in here i've got green topaz <laughs> I know, Frosty Jade. Frosty Jade. Frosty Jade. Ooh. Every time, because my niece is called Jade, oh, and really? I always think of her instantly. I bet but she's, she's not Frosty, she's though. She's not Frosty, she? no, no, far from it. She's not Frosty at all. Uh, but, yeah, absolutely um, love the idea behind this stencil mm. to create these looks. I think I'll go in with green. Um, okay. Yeah, I'll go in with green. T mm, yeah. Mm, no. 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 I'm going to go in with Frosty, because she's lighter. Uh, it's lighter. Look at you making me say that now because you've said it's uh, uh, the jade. lighter. Frosty jade. It's lighter. It's lighter. Frosty jade is lighter. Yeah. Although I think this these finger dabbers, I think we've been using. They've got a multitude of all sorts of. Oh, you've got on a here. bit of colour kind of coming through from. I think this green is like a, a completely different green to where, fro how frost is made. Yeah. Um, but again, you can get all that lovely detail and go in there. Of course, you can use any of your ink applicators with these, Ben. Yeah. You don't have to stick to a finger uh, dauber. Dorba dabba. Dorba dabba. Dorba dabba dabba. I think they're still out of stock as well, aren't they? Are they still out of stock? I'm sure they are. One of those things that we seem to get for, and they last about five minutes, they sell out, and then we can never get them back in again. Really? Mm. Didn't know that. You learn something new every day. I, I thought these were back in stock. Well, if they are, it's only recently. Let me have a look. You're going to have a little nosy. I'm going to have a little nosy. Okay. Uh, what, well, you're personally going to have a little nosy? Oh, yeah, I do it all the time, me. Oh, really? Finger what? Dorbas. No, er. Uh, Daubers, yeah, finger daubers. Finger daubers? <laughs> finger daubers? Finger, what are they called? Finger da finger. Finger. Do you know? It's because we call them finger daubers. No, I course. actually think they're called finger daubers. Finger. I don't think they are, you know. I don't think that's the official no. title at all. No, there's, there's 40 of them, isn't there? Yeah. Finger. Um, <laughs> uh, not in, uh, not in your fingers. Oh, dear Lord. Honestly, what are we like? What all of us, we're all trying and not one of us can get it right. <laughs> finger, not finger grips, no. No, you put, you put them on your little, they're like a little pair of dances. <laughs> um, are they daubers? <laughs> anyway, whilst we're trying to find out, I'll just read you a few more messages because there's loads coming in. Um, Suzanne Dawn says, Colour Me Happy was a blinder of a show. Aww. Um, I learned so much it was a must watch. I've just watched the Colour Me Happy show, says Rhonda. I love the techniques Debbie showed. We'll have to give that a try once my baby album is done. Thank um, you. I'm, I'm so pleased. Um, I'm, I'm really pleased that you've enjoyed that show. I love doing Colour Me Happy shows and I absolutely love um, it when I get feedback like that because that's what, I, as a crafter, that's what I want to learn. Yeah. You know, we can all stamp and we can all colour. We, we love doing things like that. But it's also showing you the other things that those pens can do for mm. you as a crafter. It's like I, I, I say it all the time, honestly. Uh, but I, I genuinely mean it. From my point of view, I am a crafter through and through. I have been for many a year. But I want things to do more than one. 
thing. And that's what those pens, perfect for colouring, perfect for brush lettering, but perfect for all those other little techniques that I showed you as well. So that's really pleased me that, Ben. Thank no, you for sharing that. No, you are welcome. There's lots of lovely comments coming through. Um, Debbie, you need to see Jane's craft along page from yesterday, says Gilmore. Jane's craft along page. Uh, uh, what page? Jane's craft along page. Oh, has she posted it? She must have done. Right, she I do need to go and see it because we asked her to share it with us and she was like, nope. Who's J Jane? Jane who joined us. Jane oh. Wilson joined us. Oh, she didn't first share time. It? And she didn't share with oh. us. Um, but I couldn't wait to see it. So I'm going to go and head over and check that page out mm, because yeah. she was obviously shared it on the... I'm, I'm assuming I'm a crafter's companion. Compa yes. Companion. Companion. What the hell were I doing I then? No, no, no. Companion. I liked it. <laughs> page. Um, oh, look at producer Jamie as an angel. He's gone and found us the finger doors. There are at stock. Oh, dear Lord, yeah. after all that. Um, <sighs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I will go and check that page out. Thank you. Oh, uh, Susie just said she's just emailed, uh, emailed it to the studio, so I don't know whether that's the picture. Oh, Thank you. amazing. Have a look, guys. Thank you. Yeah, yeah we'll have a little look. Because I've still got, I've still got those gremlins in the system. But I can show it on my tablet, you see, now. The oh, guy's emailed to me, you. and then I show it on my tablet. Get you. Becky only had a phone yesterday, God love her, trying to show things on a phone. She had a phone? A phone. Oh. A phone. Sorry, sorry, phone. phone. Why did she not have a tablet? No, she didn't have a tablet. Oh, was it not working? It wouldn't... She, she, oh, yeah, it wouldn't she, work. she couldn't get it to work with the, oh, uh, the bits see. and the bobs, the technology bits and bobs. You need to be very technical to do the things that I do, you know. I'm a very technical <laughs> kind of guy. <laughs> so uh, I'm not surprised other people can't do it, because I'm very... <laughs> my finger on the pulse when it comes to the old technology, me. Yep. Yep, more than I am, because, uh, <laughs> I mean, I know you're I know, I know you taking me. Yeah. <laughs> I know you're taking me there. You should have seen me early on, right? Debbie uh, was just um, using the vending machine that we've got in the uh, <laughs> cafe area. <laughs> and knowing, knowing how great I was at the technology, she got a packet of crisps that got stuck. You know, it normally goes and falls out, doesn't it? The packet of crisps got stuck at the bottom. So Debbie, knowing that I'm quite technical, said, oh, Ben, can you just come here and do the technical thing that you do to help get the crisps out? So obviously I did that technical thing because she knows I'm very technical. <laughs> let's, let's just have it is. Yeah. Bang. <laughs> Give it all guys. Trouble is, that vending machine cheated me out of some sweets, which I wasn't very happy about. But no. uh, we'll have words with the vending machine man when I see him next. I, I, normally, I, normally, I normally jump on him when he comes through the door. Literally, <laughs> quite literally. Jump on him when I've got my little input that I want to say of what we need in there to variety wise. Oh, and that. you tell him what you want. Oh, I do, yeah. Yeah, I, I think he sees me coming and then hides right. because he knows I'm uh, quite demanding Cherry Pepsi Max to cover for me and George. It's um, you that asked for the Cherry Pepsi Max. I didn't ask for that many, can I just oh. say? I asked him to give us a nice blend of different things. Can't bear it. Is it my fault that he took me to meaning putting Cherry Pepsi Max in there? Uh, so sorry to all the girls and guys up here. Yeah. It wasn't my fault. Uh, I did ask him to put some more orange twirls in, again, for me and the gorgeous George of the joystick. Um, but yes, because I love orange twirls. I always ask him to put in Aribos. 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 Aribos for you, yep, Ben. Thank for you. you because Tank I know. Yep, Tanktastics. Um, but yeah, I feel I feel cheated. I feel mm. cheated. So well, you I make am sure you jump on him when him. he's in next. I will do indeed. Mm. Now I'm mixing the two colours. Can you see how easy this is to do, Ben? By the way, um, I'm literally mixing the two colours. I've used a bit of lemon tonic with the honey pot and gone all the way around, blending a couple of the colours in. Uh, of course, like I said, if you don't just like to hold it with your fingers, you can actually um, layer down um, the stencil with the repositional spray. It's, you know, this choice is there for yeah. you. So I'm going to go in into that centre, though. I'm just going to pick it up with a little bit of a darker colour. So I'm going to go in with a, a seal brown. Either seal brown or a black would work with this. Um, and I'm just going to go in and pick up a little bit uh, of the central part of that sunflower. And I can peel it back and have a little peek. And have a little look and i'm quite happy with that so i'm going to take that back that looks honestly so easy to achieve mm. and then i'm going to go in and i'm going to tickle over the top and Ooh. i mean just tickle <laughs> tickle over the top tickle over the top <laughs> tickle over the top <laughs> and just <laughs> just to just to pick up those areas that i wanted to and then of course i can go on and take in perhaps we'll go in with frosty jade because i don't want to leave that background very stark and white i'm going to go in and add a little bit of that around the edges as well. Uh, be very careful not to have inky fingers and stick your finger all over there like I've just done. Uh, it's a good job I've got one that I made earlier. 
but you can see just how easy it is to achieve a bit of colour to an yeah. embossing folder uh, it, for the sake of those stencils. And the other lovely thing that you can do with them, and I mean, already it's looking beautiful, looks gorgeous, glorious, ready for going onto the front of the card. But do you know what else you can do with these stencils? What? You can take these stencils and yeah. you can use them to create, and I'll just move my ink pads out of the way for a second, because I've got a card blank here, which I'm going to mount all my pieces on. But I was thinking, do you, instead of using the paper in I'm the background, make background, I'm going to make my own background. Love it. So I'm going to pop my stencil on and I'll have it, let's go, yeah, let's have it a little bit, little bit uh, off, off, off. Centre. Piece. Kilter. Off, off piece. Off, off. Yeah, on the yeah. wonk. Off, on the wonk. On the wonk. Yeah, definitely on the wonk. So I'm going to go in. I'm going to make my own lovely stenciled background paper. So again, I'm going to use the same colours that I've been using. So let's go in with that honey pots as well. Okay. Um, Mary Beth's joined us. June's joined us, saying I'm loving your flamingo shirt, Ben. Oh, thank you. Uh, and a few of you just chatting about your Fourth of July. Uh, um, events. I'll be watching the fireworks on the TV, says Linda. Gail says, I took my best crafty friends out to pick blueberries at a pick your own farm in New Jersey. We each Aww. picked about nine pounds. We're going to make muffins, pies, and just eat them by the handful. That's Ooh, a fun thing to do, isn't it? That sounds nice. Love to go to uh, a blueberry farm. I've been to um, a strawberry farm, pick your own strawberries. I've been <laughs> to a, uh, a raspberry farm as well. It says, blow your own as you go in. Good <laughs> 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 joke there. <laughs> I got it. Blow your own. Blow your own raspberries. <laughs> oh, do you remember myself? Oh, laugh. honestly. Um, and Jane says, uh, Jane Wilson says, it was brilliant fun yesterday. Oh, um, you should really all have a go. Thank you so much. And she ha has sent in the e, uh, the picture of her finished oh, project. Oh, thank you for sharing. We we'll will have definitely a have a look at that in a bit, uh, Jane. Oh, dear. Absolutely. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Blow your own. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Oh, it's oh, you've, got to, you've got to do the sound effect, Ben. Of course you have. You've got to do it. <laughs> My little granddaughter, she's just started doing it. Has and she? she'll, yeah, she'll start going like this to you. <laughs> when she's answering back or anything like that. And I'm like, she's a cheeky little mum. But she's definitely called sassy pants for a reason. Yeah, I wonder where she gets you. that sass from. Well, I've no idea. I say it's the mum. Oh, yeah, it must yeah, be. Yeah, it's the mum. It's, mom, it's not from you, is it? No, not it's the from... ecky thump. It, is it ecky thump? thump? It's not from me. Aye. <laughs> Ecky thump. <laughs> Least sassy person I know, Debbie. Uh, exactly. Exactly. What are you rolling your eyes for, mister? Nothing. I saw I you. Just something in my eye. I, <laughs> I saw you there. Uh, can you see how lovely that's looking? Yeah, I can. Uh, but of course, you can do the same with the um, background piece as well. So you could add those um, pieces in and add some extra little detail to it as well. So, and if I just show you the one that I've already pre done, so I'm not, not boring you too much there. <laughs> Um, but that's the kind of thing that you can oh, achieve to create great. your own background simply by using your stencils um, and create a lovely little bit of a talking feature in the inside of your card. We've said this often before in the past that we forget about the inside of us cards. Uh, and one of the things that when I did my Facebook Live the other day was uh, I got a bit of feedback on about um, let's let's do some more projects where we can concentrate on the inside. So that's why I've done this one today. Yeah. Just to give a little bit of an interest and a little nod to the lovely... Um, people of our crafting community who shared their ideas on things that they'd like to see here at Crafters TV. Fantastic. So I hope that ticks the box slightly. Yeah. Um, I have actually got some of that gorgeous vellum as well because rather than using the paper, I thought this vellum is it's so beautiful. Mm. And when you pop it on side the white, it really does lift it. And I think it looks again, ties in beautifully with the um, side there. Um, somebody asked me yesterday about vellum, what I use to stick down. Uh, there's a couple of things that you can use. I use um, a dotty tape pen, but you can also use brads. Yeah. If you've got your brads or your split pins, you could be using those two to attach your vellum uh, to your cardstock. So I'm just going to make sure that that is straight before I pop that on. That's fine. But again, looks looks lovely. And you can't see the glue coming through on no. the other side. If you use the wet glue, the danger there is is that... And I don't mean danger as in danger. <laughs> um, I just mean... <laughs> I just mean seeping through that um, and it can kind of spoil your project so always a wise to the what a minute word to the wise yeah word to the wise word to the mean, wise is think about your glue choice when you're popping your vellums down um, and then all I'm going to do Ben is I've got myself my finished one here 
because what I've done on the end is I've taken the darker colour. Let me just get my... What have I done with my finger over? Where's it gone? Oh, I'll use this one. Um, one of the darker colours and just go around the edge just mm. to pick that off. And it softens up around the edge without the use of having to use any other cardstock. Yeah. Um, but again, just go around the edges, around the outside... Round the outside, round the outside. Round the outside. And it just came into my head outside. again, that song. Who sang that song? Eminem. Oh, Eminem. Eminem, wasn't it? Was it? I thought it was Mark and McCarran. Round the outside, round the outside. In my head, I'm singing this, by the way. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure it's... Was it? Uh, I don't the know. Round the outside, round the outside. I'll tell you what I had in my head earlier on, after you were Go talking about Westlife. Go on then. Uh, Fool again. I don't know why that's that again. Fool again? Yeah. Really? Can't believe that I'm a fool again. That was Westlife, wasn't it? Yes, it is. Yes, yeah. it is. Yeah, absolutely. It trans sorry, we've gone right off track here. It transported me back to about 2000, where I was working at uh, Pontins Holiday Camp. Don't tell in, me you've met Westlife. No, in Imagine Rye. I've met Pontins. Uh, in East Sussex, and we had a show called The Boy Power Show. Oh, I, oh boy bands. I, I was in the boy band. <gasps> it, was only like, it was only like Blue Coat. It wasn't anything like Westlife. And we did that song. And we were, and we were all there in like, these, these muscle tops, and we had to like fake tan up every night. <laughs> <laughs> we had these like, muscle tops on, and it just makes me laugh because there's a key change in that song, and we were there all sat is. on stools, and the key change came, and we all stood up. Yeah. yeah. Do, you know, do you know, Ben, I wish, I wish, I wish I could have um, seen that. I wish you'd got... It's on video some, have somewhere. Have you got video, videographic evidence? It's somewhere hidden. I want to see that, can that. I just tell you? Yeah. Um, but I also uh, want to point out, Westlife are more than sitting on stools and rising on a key change. No, but they do do that a lot. They do though, too, they? yeah. It's yeah. probably one of their trademarks. But they are, but, um, I don't if, mind Westlife, they're good. If you go and see them, they are far from sitting on a stool, let me just tell you. Are, are, um, are Westlife big in the US, do we know? Uh, do you know what? Have they ever, have they, they conquer I don't the know. US? I know they're worldwide, globally, as in Europe. Mm. They were massive in Europe, um, especially in the UK. US viewers, you'll have to let us know. Do yeah, you know I'm not Westlife? Sure about the US. What was their other big one? Flying Without Wings? Flying Without Wings is one of my favourite songs. It's going to yeah. be uh, played at me. Oh, God, that sounds a bit morbid. Oh, don't say that. God, <laughs> oh, dear. Played at your birthday. <laughs> God, God, dear, it's taking a bit of a dark turn, this show, all of a sudden, isn't it? Dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. I'm so sorry. <laughs> yeah, because that... I have told the kids it's got to be played because it's one of my favourite all-time tunes ever. Um, I absolutely adore it. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, um, hmm. Yeah. What? I, I, and I'm just thinking to myself, I, I, I still want to see the photographic evidence of yourself. I, do you know what? I just want for to you, see that. Just for you, I will find it. There's, I have got a video of it somewhere. Um, it's, back in the day, I had like bleached blonde hair and I used to spike it do up like mean? that. Yeah, and I used to twist it. It was really spiky and twisted. And I, I, I'd, I'd have had all me, I'd have been fake tanned, fake tanned, <laughs> and I had this muscle top on uh, back, you know, back in the day when I was a little bit, you know, yeah. And uh, we, did all, we, did all the, we did all the boy band songs. We did, uh, what was the other one I used to love? Bow, 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 bow. Oh, uh, uh, Backstreet Boys. Oh, I the love that. The robot one. What, uh, oh, mm -hmm. oh. Larger yeah. than life. Larger than life. Yeah, yeah that's a corker of that a tune as well. Yeah. Absolutely. I'll, I'll get it off video. I'll get it onto digital and I'll, I'll send it to you, Debbie, so yes, you can enjoy please. it. Yes, please. I want to enjoy that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, now, you mm. can see the base of the card um, on the inside of the card and then the front panel that's going to sit like so. Almost a shame to cover up those beautiful um, sunflowers there. In fact, I could have it a little bit off, off the... Um, on, on the wonk, off the piece, off the rest of it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to pop some glue just down the side, like so. Had Laura met you? Had you met Laura by that time? No, it was before. Probably I a met... good thing. Huh? <laughs> Probably a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> I've just got a vision in my head and I can't get it out of my head. I thought I was super cool. And after, after the show, we, we used to get the... I mean, they knew that we were the blue coats, obviously, just doing the show, but then you'd get the, the girls would come up after the show and ask for your autographs and stuff like that. Felt like proper, proper superstars. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> we were the most unlikely looking like boy band as well. How many, how many of you was in this boy band? There was five of us. Five of you? We, it, was, it, was just, it was one of the shows. You know when you go to the holiday parks, the, you have like the cabarets which come in and do shows, don't you? Yes. But we, we obviously as an entertainment team used to put on our own shows and that year 
there was the bo uh, boy power show and there was obviously a girl power show as well where the girl um, they did like the Spice Girls and uh, Destiny Tell Child, you all that kind of thing. Really, really yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it was just one of the shows, one of the shows that we did. Gilmore says, Ben, did you ever have a mullet? No, I um, <laughs> I'm too young for a mullet. <laughs> <laughs> I can just see you in a mullet, Ben. <laughs> I can, I can see you in my lead. Oh, right, oh, there you go. Me. Using our fabulous <coughs> um embossing folder with the stencil along with the vellum and then using that stencil to create a little feature part Gorgeous. on the inside of your card. You can see how it all ties in, how it all works so beautifully. I've got to get these visions out of my head because I'm not going to concentrate the rest of that for the rest of the evening. Uh, but yeah, absolutely stunning, stunning collection. I, and I, it is literally sunshine in a collection. It really, truly is. Um, beautiful imagery, beautiful artwork, um, and a really fabulous opportunity to get hold of that collection. Or maybe just one or two elements from that collection. This one being one of them, I think it's a really fabulous one to create some uh, beautiful things with it. Um, it's such a lovely set. Uh, Mary Pat says, the sunflower card that Debbie made yesterday sparked an idea to use it for scrapbooking and place a picture of my parents in the centre to honour all their years farming sunflowers. Uh, lots of gorgeous and beautiful coming through. Um, Mary says, we blow our own blueberries here in Maine. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, apparently. Uh, Sensational Sky says, I told my mum about M&M yesterday. She thought I was talking about the chocolates, lol. Uh, Natty says, hello everyone from the Finger Lakes area of New York. Also, happy 4th of July to all our US crafters. Uh, Cassianne says, hello everyone. I hope you're all having a fabulous Sunday. We are, we're having fun. We're being creative, it's great. Uh, Mary Rena just saying, beautiful Debbie. I'm definitely trying this one later, says Linda. Ryan, uh, Nee Connie says, a spiky blonde Ben. I'm trying to imagine the vision. Uh, I, I'll definitely, try, if, I, if I can figure out how to do it, I'll get it off and I'll post it at some point down the line. Um, and Lillian says, what is a muscle top? Is it a string vest? Thing? No, it's not a string vest. It's, can you imagine me in a string vest? <laughs> no, it's like, <laughs> like Ramsey Nesbitt. No, it's like, it, you know, like, it's like the, like the guys in the gym wear, like a sleeveless. Yeah. You have to have a certain physique to do it. Maybe 20 years ago, not anymore. Uh, <laughs> You behave. You behave. You behave. Right, uh, the Sunflower Collection. Details on your screen right here if you want to pick that up. £75.99, $98.04 4 cents platinum price. Um, if you want to go for individuals, of course you can. What I'm thinking is a lot of you I know have already bought the Sunflower Collection. Stock up on the consumables because the things like the paper pad will go, the, the foam will go, um, the vellum. I mean, how gorgeous was the use of that vellum on that last project? Uh, pick them up whilst we've still got them. Uh, very quickly, just want to show you some other things which have proved popular over the course of the uh, last week or so. The Grande Edge Swirl Dyes Collection, uh, really, really popular for £19.18 or $23.88 if you are a uh, Platinum member. Such a lovely collection is this, allowing you to create um, you know, beautiful projects like this, cutting these out and then almost like piecing them back into the cardstock uh, to create gorgeous, gorgeous edges to your projects. Also though, a lot of people chatting about uh, paper piecing with these. A lot of people, uh, you know, when we launched these saying how beautiful they would be also for scrapbooking. Um, I, I'm also big at the moment, I think this is because of the fact that we've done a lot of um, uh, sort of shows recently where we've created our own backgrounds, you know, cutting these out in black and just sort of piecing these over, you know, a background that you've created, you know, really vibrant watercolour background. I think these would look absolutely beautiful um, as well. A lot of you love that fancy filigree, which is included in the set. Uh, and then lastly, how gorgeous is that? The dainty snowdrop. Uh, again, just giving you a bit of an idea of the kind of things that you can create. It's a 25% saving. Uh, launched a month ago, though. Where's the time gone? At £19.18 platinum, $23.88. Uh, again, if you want to jump in and grab those individually, you can. Um, and then next up, I uh, just wanted to show you this collection, which is your decoupage flower stamp and die collection. Uh, we launched this, I want to say a couple of weeks ago. Might have been a bit further back, um, but it was uh, 26th of, oh, 26th of May. Wow. Um, it's a gorgeous collection, this, because it's going to allow you to create the most beautiful decoupage flowers. You've got 
um, such intricacy within the stamps themselves and then um, also the die so you know if you want to be able to uh, stamp out your images and then die cut them obviously they've been um, engineered to work beautifully to be able to give you uh, you know that beautiful die cut but you might decide that you just want to use the stamps on their own and, and layer these up that way you might just decide that you want to use your um you know different uh, cardstock to die cut the florals out there's so much detail um, in the dies themselves so there's lots of different ways to be able to use them but once again our team have absolutely smashed it out of the park here um you've got the gorgeous fragrant sweet pea look at this one here so this is the um the timeless carnation quite simply absolutely stunning and again you can see the dimension that you could achieve there you know there's nothing to stop you of course snipping into this a little bit more adding more layers it just depends I suppose how um, you know big and bold and over the top that you want to go with these the fabulous fuchsia is phenomenal that way isn't it um, absolutely gorgeous the detail in this again um, is amazing and you've got all of the dies to be able to create that amazing effect just layering these up to create that gorgeous fuchsia you've then got roses in here as well so the radiant rose you've got the beautiful lilac in here too so I think again we've included so many different flowers so many of your favorite flowers and once again stamp this out color this in use the other elements to create the 3d effect and then lastly in this set I think possibly one of the most gorgeous uh, lilies that you will see you have the ability to create that depth and dimension you've got the ability to use these individual of themselves if you want if you just want to use the stamped elements of course uh, you can do that but used together uh, you can create the most gorgeous decoupage flowers £55.99 is your platinum price uh, it was a, almost a £20 $23 saving at launch uh, same price you can pick them up for tonight uh, 63 44 if you're shopping with us in the US and once again if you want to pick and mix on those and go for smaller bundles uh, you can uh, lots of love coming in for that last card still Beth and just saying uh, beautiful card uh, Beth saying love that card Debbie so pretty um, and Jane says a baby Ben with a mullet now there's an image <laughs> I'll leave you guys just to uh, think about all of that and also check out your baskets because I feel look at the time Ooh. I feel I feel I feel like it is uh, time to have a bit of a break. Uh, we'll, <laughs> we'll give you guys time to check out your baskets. Uh, when we come back, more great demos for you. We're going to be having a look at um, some Christmas goodies. We're going to have a look at the Say It With Style um, collection for you too. And of course, we've got uh, what demo show do? three, three votes to do. Demo the show, demo the day, demo the week. It's all to come uh, in the final hour and a quarter here on Second Chance Sunday. We'll see you in just a mo. had to make some changes to our shipping charges and we want to keep you informed. With continued pressure on domestic shipments around mainland US, we've had to temporarily increase the cost of our regular 6 to 10 working day standard shipping service from $9.99 to $12.95 and our free shipping threshold from $100 to $125. We also have some really great news to tell you. We've introduced a brand new shipping service called Express Delivery. This is a fully tracked door-to-door -door service which takes three to seven working days and costs $19.95. This option means you'll get your crafty goodies in your hands sooner, meaning less waiting and more crafting. We're also upgrading delivery services for our gold and platinum Club Inspire members who will now receive priority delivery on all of their orders. And if that wasn't enough, we've upgraded these orders to our new express three to seven day service. Your patience and understanding throughout this very busy time has been amazing. So we'd just like to say a huge thank you and we look forward to chatting to you again very soon. Quick buy, all your crafty must-haves in a flash. Make your die cutting tools last as long as your love for crafting with the Gemini Accessories Clear Cutting Plates. Your metal dies are put under lots of pressure with each pass through your Gemini die cutting machine. So to make sure they cut crisp, clean, delicate designs for years to come, you need to look after your dies. And that's where the Gemini Accessories Clear Cutting Plates come in. Quick Buy, get yours now. Quick Buy, all your crafty must-haves in a flash. 
Make light work of intricate and delicate die cutting designs with the Pokey Tool from Crafters Companion. An absolute essential part of any paper crafters kit, its precise tip has been designed to release the tiniest pieces to reveal your finished results with absolute precision. And to make sure your finished project is perfect, each Pokey Tool has a rubber tip protector, so there's no risk of damaging your die cutting design or yourself. The Crafter's Companion Pokey Tool is such an essential craft item, we've included two in each set. Quick buy, get yours now. Welcome back. Uh, Julie just saying, could you use the decoupage dies with foam? Yeah, absolutely you could. Abs absolutely no problem at all. Um, you know, we've obviously just given you the, um, the stamps there. So yeah, whether you want to use paper, whether you want to use your, um, your card, foam, I guess you could make vellum um, flowers as well if you wanted to do that. But absolutely, yes, you can. Um, right, Christmas. I uh, just seen the price here, by the way. That's, this is magnificent for this set. Uh, Christmas in July um, will start very, very soon. And um, if you want to get ahead of the game, this next set, I think you're going to get absolutely bonkers for. I love these um, layerable uh, sentiment sets that we do because I think they're super, super craftable, super fun. And, and again, right, I think we've done a lot of these sets recently that I can imagine you crafting with your kids and your grandkids because they're super fun. Uh, there's lots of kind of little um, jobs that you can all do. You can almost like, you know, get the kids, get the grandkids around. If you've got maybe like, uh, you know, the Gemini Mini or the, the, the MIDI or you know, maybe you've got a manual machine and um, electronic machine, you can all kind of cut all the little bits and pieces out, all the different elements and the different colours that you want, because that's what this is all about, building up those sentiments uh, to create a real show-stopping piece for your card, your project, whatever it might be. So within each set, you get all the dies, and then you basically pop it together like a little crafty jigsaw. So you've got your base die just here, and then you can cut out all the individual elements to create the really cute Let It Snow there with the little Christmas uh, winter mittens. This one here is called uh, We Wish You a Merry Christmas. So again, you've got your, um, your two sort of base dies, if you like here, you can build up the different layers of your Christmas tree, cut out all of the individual elements, and you can create that really cute Christmas tree with the sentiment in. Then you've got your snow globe. This one's called Winter Wishes with that beautiful uh, deer on. Once again, everything that you need, cut it out. You choose the card slot, you choose the colors that you want to work with to create that gorgeous snow globe scene. This one here is called uh, Ho, Ho, Ho. Reminds me of um, <laughs> sorry, it's like it's die hard, isn't it? I just, I oh, now. Ha, 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 ha. <laughs> no, it's um, Alan Rickman in Die Hard, isn't it? When the oh, guy comes yeah. down in the lift, yeah. Now I have a machine gun. Ha, <laughs> ha, ha. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that gave me chills. That I thought it were here in the room. With us, which oh, I love Alan difficult. Rickman. Tad difficult. Tad difficult. Oh, yeah, God, he's I love him. He's just a gorgeous actor, isn't he? Yeah. Absolutely fabulous actor. And it's such a great film. Such Christmas great film or not a Christmas film? Don't Christmas start that film, one. Christmas film. Christmas film. Christmas all the way. Yay. Yeah, it is Christmas. <laughs> And so you've got your Christmas cracker there. Ho, 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 ho. You've then got the uh, Santa Claus is coming to town. This one's fun because it's kind of like Santa's face, really. It's fab. I um, love this one. You build up. Then you've got the Christmas star in here, too. You've got joy to the world. I mean, you're just going to have so, so much fun with these. Um, and lastly, you've got um, Tis the Season to be jolly. So think about all the cardstock that you've got here. I love the fact here that we've used you know, some of our glitter cardstock in there, some of your mirror cards that you could use potentially. I think this is a steal today. Um, you're saving over £50, over $64, $27.19, $33.59 your platinum price and I, I honestly think Debbie that these are made for crafting along with your family aren't they yeah. and starting a little kind of production line yeah letting everyone pick, pick what they want to die cut out and have fun with it and all your bits from your bits box bits box yeah bits from your bits box because we all have them we all have or, or if you're anything like me we'll refuse to throw anything away mm. uh, I don't like waste um, so yes, this is going to be perfect for all of those kind of things, uh, but they're a lot of fun. They're a lot of fun and they're easy to put together as well. So yeah, absolutely. I'm going to show you a few samples before I show you how easy. I'm not going to make a finished project with this. I'm going to actually just make a quick, easy um, how to put this together. Yeah. Um, I'm choosing one of my favourite designs, but these are just some of the designs. You've got Santa Claus is coming to town. Ba -da -ba -da. I love that one. Um, Tis the season to be jolly. Ba -la 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 -la. <laughs> Joy to the world. The and I forgot the rest of the songs. <laughs> let it snow, let, let it snow, snow, let it snow. And ho, ho, ha, ho, ha. ha. <laughs> 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 
every time I see that now, I'm going to think of you. Oh, oh, oh. I don't know how you do it, but you were, you were very good at doing it. Absolutely. So I'm going to show you. I'm going to use winter wishes. Yeah. And I did say that I was going to use up my scraps. So while you were busy chatting away, showing everything, mm -hmm. um, I've taken my winter wishes out. And I've just chosen some colours. You can, you can literally make this as easy as you want. You can do it in monochrome colours. You can pick whatever you've got, scrap bits out of your box. I've gone with the craft with the um, stag there, the reindeer, whatever you want to call him. And then I've gone with the dark uh, background with a little bit of a light switch. Could use green though, because you've got mm. Christmas trees in there. Uh, but I'm going to run all those through. And then I've got the winter wishes in themselves. The winter comes out separately. The wishes comes out as a one. Wait a minute, doesn't come out as a one. Comes out as a whole. Yeah. <sighs> this is the one that Jan got, I've just remembered. Jan, yeah. did you get involved in that? Like last Christmas, in December, <laughs> yes. we had the little five minute challenges. Yes, I did. Uh, I got the ridiculous one from Brent that I've still not forgiven him about. Well, basically, if you didn't, if you didn't see it, um, That's the, hilarious, our, that. our experts got, it was a bit like Ready, Steady, Cook, and you basically got given a cracker, didn't you? Yeah. And inside the cracker, it said what you were going to use to create a project with. And you had five, I think five minutes to do it, or maybe it might have been ten minutes. It's about ten minutes, I think. But Jan got this one, and she didn't realise in, until sort of late in that, that winter's all individual letters, isn't it? Yeah, because she were being really like taking her time. Taking her time. Taking and then time. It's like a minute, a minute, minute left. She's like, I'll be fine. And then she didn't realise she had to die cut all of the individual letters. That was quite funny. It's the only time I've ever seen Jan flustered um, <laughs> on air. Because you know, she's it, a sea of it calm. It takes some to fluster Mrs. Brown, let me tell yeah. you. Um, but yeah, I remember, I remember that. <laughs> I think that was good fun. Uh, but we don't want to repeat it this year. No, oh, no. Well, it's nothing to do with me. No, 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 no. Miss me this time. Miss yeah. me. Yeah. I had the sight. Well, the stepper car challenge and in my head you know when you try and remember everything in your head oh yeah went out of window well with, t with time oh, against you as well goodness honestly imagine. good fun but yeah, yeah we're not going to repeat that again nah uh, right let's take off all our pieces because we've run that through the die cutting machine i am going to take my time taking mine off because um i've just noticed one little thing has escaped oh it's the skate so we're going to start with that background layer so this is our main background piece and it cuts out all those lovely stars. So you could be putting through some lovely glitter card in the background there. Um, I haven't got any to hand, but you'll, you'll get the gist because it's got that lovely star scene. Mm -hmm. um, and then you're just going to start to layer this up. So we'll go in with that next piece, which is this lovely um, round, um, it's like a, it's a bit like a reef looking one, but it's, it's it really beautiful, got a lot of dimension to it. Um, and it simply is a case of layering it over the top. That's, this is how easy this is, Ben. It is so incredibly easy. Yeah. I'm going to use my dotted tape pen and I'll move that going all the way around like so. We had, um, what's the collection that's similar to this with the Christmas characters? Uh, oh. Daisy and I, do you know what I mean? When you build your own little yes, Christmas characters. Them. Daisy and I used those last year to create some Christmas cards. A lot of fun. And that's what I mean about this collection, why I think if you have got kids particularly, you'll have some fun with them with this because you can get out all your cardstock, let them choose what colours they want to use. You know, if you've got, uh, you know, the mini or the midi, they can yeah, choose some bits while you choose some bits. Yeah, you don't need big machines with this bits. one. Yeah, you don't need a big machine with this one. Um, but I'm just showing you, I've, ju I've done it really like in this style and this method just so I can show you. I'm just going to be careful though that I don't throw my dies away because I'm terrible for when I've got my bits out at the side not to throw things away. So we'll move that there. In fact, move them all together. I know where they are. Um, so I've next got my uh, lovely little stag. Let's get him onto there. Is he a stag? Uh, reindeer stag? I think he's more of a stag, isn't he? Yeah. Because don't reindeers have... What do reindeers have? Well, I could actually read his nose up and he'd be a Rudolph reindeer. Well, I think reindeers, they don't really have like pointy... Don't they have these? Well, they do, don't they? Huh? Do they they have do have ones? antlers, but I want to say their antlers are less pointy than stags, aren't they? Oh. I, d I don't know. I'm, I'm not really a reindeer slash... <laughs> um, hang on, let's Google it. <laughs> difference between reindeer and deer. Reindeer and deer. Yeah, that'll be good, because I, I always get confused. I mean, it doesn't take oh. much to confuse me at best times, but I get um, a tad confused with certain, at certain animals. The main difference between deer and reindeer is that the deer is adapted to moderate climates, whereas the reindeer is adapted to cold, cold climates. Well. Uh, but that, but this, is, this is the thing I was going to mean. Look, I'll quickly show you. Go on then, show me, show me. Like, I was going to say reindeers have like more fluffy antlers. Can you see, what, like, that's, that's a reindeer, isn't it? Like, his antlers are a bit I more... I say he got some socks on his head. No, that's what they look like, isn't it? 
That's Charlotte, Charlotte, do it over head. Do it over head. Come on, oh. come, come this way. Reindeer. He looks like he's got socks on his head. <laughs> he's got little, little, little stag warmers over his bits. What are they called then? Antlers. Antlers. And he's got some, why has he got so many? Well, I don't know, but that's, uh, that's a... Ah, oh, so what's that one? I think that's, that's, a, that's a deer, that? isn't it? Like that's a stag. A Stag, and that one's a reindeer because he's got socks on his head. Uh, <laughs> That's the difference. <laughs> I knew it was something like that. One doesn't put socks on their antlers. <laughs> the other one does put socks on their antlers. That's oh, that's God, it, never it? have me in a quiz, will you? <laughs> never put me in a quiz because I am hopeless. Unless it's pop music, as in not pop pop. Oh, yeah, I'd have pop you in, music. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm OK pop. with music. Yeah. Um, name, name, well, I said name me yeah, anything to do with musical question. I'm not asking you now because you'll give me something really hard. But, um, but I love I love my music questions. Yeah. Or TV. Oh, yeah. Uh, so films, not so good. Soap stuff TV. Soap stuff TV. Mm. Yeah, any kind. Well, I say any kind of TV. Um, TV that I watch. <laughs> if you went on, here's a good one for you, because I'm... Uh, 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 we might still be do well we are still going to be doing this um, podcast later down the line I'm thinking of coming up with a, a little quiz section for that okay. so outside of craft you and this is for you at home as well all right so you can't have craft as your specialist subject oh, gosh what would your specialist subject be if you went on mastermind like what would yours be oh it's got it well mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say uh, soap operas. Soap operas. Yeah, soap okay. operas. Mm. Yeah. And what's yours? My specialist subject? Yep. Um, apart from me. But apart from you, <laughs> I think I'd probably have... I think I'd be similar to Craig. Maybe something to do sort of uh, wrestling-y. Yeah, because you're both into yeah. wrestling, aren't you? Also, yeah. um, Roger Moore, James Bond films. Really? I'm very, I'm very big on me Bond. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh, you're the kind of person I want on my team when it comes... I, I'm hopeless with Bond. Oh, yeah? Yeah, hopeless. Ah. Um, See, no, I mean, I'm, I think we're similar, because I would be music, pop music, I'd be film, yeah. TV, sport. I'd know a lot of sports stuff. I'm, I'm rubbish with sport. Don't ask me um, to do any sport. Don't ask me to do sport. Can't do sport. We should have a little quiz here, shouldn't we? Yeah. A little Christmas quiz. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, look, I'm dropping my W. Hang on a minute. This is when I need my tweezers, but I'm not very good with tweezers, so I'm just going to pop it on. Um, of course, you'll find a way that works for you. Mm. Um, I personally like to put them up. I keep dropping it. Here we go. Come on. Get you on there. Um, I know the other team members love using the tweezers, but I'm absolutely hopeless with a pair of tweezers, so I'm not even going to try and attempt to pick them up. So I'm just going to now pop those all onto there. Okay. This will be interesting to hear what other people would say as their specialist subject. Yeah, let us know on the, um, the comments. Shall I go back over there? Oh, it's been yourself. nice. Of course it's cool. I've got my wind fan going off in my uh, <laughs> background there. <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're going to now just pop on. And um, again, in fact, you know what? I'm going to move it up a little bit before I stick it down. I'm going to have it moved up. Can you see I've got my wishes going across the central part? Yeah. You can have this going anywhere you want, but I think I'll have it going across the widest. Let's have a look. Yep, I need to come down a little bit, Debbie. So I'm going to go in and I'm just going to stick... Gives me a bit of an idea. Uh, I love that. That's a great idea, though. Where, where to stick them yeah. to give me some idea on how I'm going to put those on. Um, and that's just with my fine tip applicator. Before I actually stick them down, I'm going to get them all onto place and then I'll, then I'll start manoeuvring them around. Tell you what, you started something on the old socials now. A lot of people are still chatting about Die Hard, Christmas yep. film or it's not. It's a Christmas a Christ film. There's, no, there's, lo there's lots of people saying it is. Lots of people saying it's not a Christmas yes, film. Yes, it is. It's not. So what are you saying, Jamie? Jamie says it is. Charlotte? Oh, oh what is she not. like? You've never <gasps> seen Die Hard. What? What? Please let me lend you the DVD. Please let me lend you the DVD. Charlotte, you'll love it. And yeah. Bruce, Bruce. Oh, oh yeah, what's out there? Erin, did yeah, Erin, Erin, did yeah, she? Yeah. Sh uh, so has, the, has it gone? Um, I think it may. I think George took it actually. Oh, that doesn't surprise me. Film buff George. <laughs> Film buff George, absolutely. Oh, God, what were they talking about the other day? Just it was John, George, and who else was here? Oh, I mean, I... Jake. I mean, I like my movies, but honest to goodness, they were, they they were having a proper geek off yeah. about all the Star Wars films, and they were, they were talking about where all of the <laughs> movies land with all of the new Disney series. <laughs> oh, I mean, I, I, I was like that. <laughs> Pro a proper like a proper geek 
geek chat. They are literally brothers in arms, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, they Because they, um, they've got a lot of shared interests and a lot of shared common common passions. Yeah. Uh, films and that being one. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. So now, so look, uh, look, George, that's because you're talking about George. Uh, look. <laughs> What's my name? Ben. Ben. <laughs> <laughs> I've put that on there and literally now you can see how you've put this together. Joking aside, when I did have them all Katie cornered on a bit on the one, you can do it if you want, it's up to you. It's your it's your tag. And and to be fair, you've got all this space to be able to put that into. Um it has been designed well I say has been designed. It's been designed because it tells you there, but there is nothing to stop you from having those little bit on the wonk. Don't get your knickers in a twist <laughs> if they go on the wonk. No. Uh, but there you go. And I'm not going to make it onto anything. I'm just going to show you how easy it was to put together. Fabulous. Love this collection. That price is to die for. It yeah. really is. When you think of, and I could thread through there now, put a little hole punch and thread that as a Christmas gift tag. Not just, don't just think of these as cards and things like that. Think of these as other things that you can do and add on to your gift boxes, your gift bags, uh, and all those kind of things. An absolute must of absolute steal. What a fantastic, when you think of the amount that you're getting in that collection, I just showed you a few samples, not all of the collection was in there. Amazing deal to get hold of some Christmas goodies. Um, while stocks last, because once they've gone, they've gone these, um, but a great price to get hold of them. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, th they're a steal, they are. And you know what, if you want to get the, um, the kids and the grandkids involved in crafting, if you want to, you know, have that week before Christmas where they're all terribly excited, you know, they, they don't know what to do with themselves, sitting down, have a bit of fun, do some crafting with them. This is a lovely, lovely collection to do that with. And let's, you know, let's be honest here, 70 elements that you've got to create, uh, one, two, three, four, five, seven different um, sentiments is just brilliant. It's an 86 pound, over $105 worth of goodies you're getting here for just 27 pounds 19 if you're platinum, $33.59. I'll uh, show you all the uh, designs that you're gonna get once again. So you've got your Let It Snow, which is the, uh, the mittens. You've got the Christmas tree, which is we wish you a Merry Christmas. Then you've got the uh, Winter Wishes, Sorry, I'm laughing. That's the one that you just saw. I'm laughing because I know what's coming. You've then got... Ha, ha, ha. I'm going to have to go and watch that tonight now. Yeah, honestly, I think it's actually on tonight, actually. Is it and, actually? Uh, I think it's on E4 or Channel 4 or something like that. They're, they're starting to show it, uh, those films in, like because uh, there's quite a few of them, aren't they? Yeah. Um, and, and I noticed because I saw it, because I've never watched Austin Powers. Uh, I love Mike Myers, but I just... Wait a minute, that is his yeah, name. Mike Myers, yeah, Mike Myers, yeah. I keep thinking of him, I think of him as Shrek. Yeah, yeah, head. that is, yeah. It's Shrek. Yeah. Um, but Mike Myers, talented, talented fella, but that's never really appealed to me, Mike. Um, no. It's never really appealed to me. Um, but it's got some amazing characters in there from Rob Lowe to Robert Wagner. <laughs> oh, yes. Yes, a good the, uh, Yes, I've seen those characters. in there as well. So, yes, get carried away with me, actors there. Um, so, yes, Die Hard Tonight is what you're saying. Die Hard Tonight, definitely. Yeah. Charlotte, you have got to watch Die Hard. Stick you it on. You've got to watch it. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, Santa Claus is coming to town. Santa Claus is coming to town. Star of wonder, star yeah. of light. <laughs> uh, you've got Joy to the World. I love that one with the little candy cane. There's the J. Thank you, Tracy. And uh, lastly, you have got Tis the Season to be jolly. Uh, it's a steal. Grab it tonight uh, because, of course, we are starting our Christmas in July event very, very soon. Um, Rosalind says the director of Die Hard says it is a Christmas movie and I agree. Well, there you go for the director. Absolutely it is. It is. It it's all about been. the Christmas script and it's, that's what is based all the things on, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Gwenda says Die Hard is a Christmas movie. Mary says Man of the House says it is not. Lol. <gasps> I love this. Um, Four Holidays Designs also just saying those layerable sentiments. She says, I think those would make amazing gift tags. Yes. I agree. They really, really would. Uh, and Alison says, Ben, whilst you and Debbie are playing on my phone, I'm watching Star Wars again for the over 100th over time. I've seen all the movies, the new shows, and the animated series. We are a Star Wars nerd family here. That's amazing. Uh, I've, yeah, I've seen, I haven't seen any of the series. I've watched all of the films. It's one of those movies, right, that I'm kind of, um, you know, I, I like, but I'm not, I'm not massively fussed about. But I tell you what, if, you, if you're ever in a hurry here, trying to get out the door, do not start speaking to uh, John, to Jake, or to George <laughs> about movies, and particularly no. Star Wars, because you'll still be here next week, honestly. You, uh, th but they, they love all of that stuff, the guys. They really, really do. Now, 
Th this is the right collection, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, d so the deal on this is amazing, right? So it's double-sided dies. So our, um, our patented technology, if you like. So basically, uh, one die, and on either side of the die, is that one stuck down? It is. Oh, there we go. On either side of the die, um, you have got um, different designs. So one pass through here, for example, will cut you uh, the two different designs that you've got to be able to build up that Christmas bauble. Um, what I love about this particular collection is not only are you going to get all of these amazing dies, this one again, uh, double-sided, cutting it out, all of these different elements to create that gorgeous Christmas wreath. But the one thing that you would normally need with this collection, of course, is your double-sided plates, which you'd have to buy separately. However, in this particular bundle, we're giving you all of these double-sided dies that you're seeing here. So this one here, uh, two dies to be able to create that snowman. We're giving you the double-sided plates within this bundle, which I just think is phenomenal. Again, two dies here, creating all of these uh, different um, die cuts to layer up your Christmas tree in different ways. How amazing is this? We've got your um, Christmas Robin in here as well. Again, double-sided dies. It's taking the kind of like time out of things because one pass is going to get you um, all of these different die cuts. You've got the star in there as well, that star of wonder. And as I say, to make this just an unbelievable deal, we're popping in. Oh, there's one more there as well, your snowflake. We're also popping in your uh, Gemini Junior double sided plates. That's a phenomenal buy, isn't it? How many die sets is that? One, two, three, four five, six, seven die sets, double-sided dies, and the plates for £28.79, or £36.79. That's a phenomenal buy. It's a 75% saving. You're saving £111 or $140. I mean, crazy. Crazy is, is, is exactly right. I can't believe that. Uh, £28.79 or $36.79 everything you need there to try out double-sided technology don't miss out on that by the way 75 percent off of course is what you can get on a lot of our sale items in our summer sea sun sale which ends at midnight tonight um <laughs> alison just saying ben craig doesn't think die hard is a christmas movie he's very vocal about it well this is the only time that I'm going to disagree with Mr. Laird. Mm. Um, it is a Christmas movie, Craig, um, and you won't budge me on that one. Um, and I can get very vocal too. <laughs> but no, it is, honestly. To me, it is, it, it is a Christmas film. I know it's an action film, but it's also a themed around Christmas for obviously reasons he's coming back from, you know, meeting his wife, isn't he? And she gets mm. trapped in the building with yeah. the... Uh, with yeah. the guys, yeah. with, well, I mean, I wouldn't mind being held hostage by <laughs> Alan Rickman, let me just say. I wouldn't mind that, especially with Bruce Willis coming to save me, uh, because he's just a divine dream boat in itself. Um, but it's always be a Christmas film to me, always. Um, and Ro just says, uh, I made ornaments using the ha, ha, ha to commemorate <laughs> the pandemic, and I replaced the ha oh, with a toilet roll. That is brilliant i love that so much um let's move on to another collection which do you know what i'm i'm quite happy to to come in here when the guys ask me to come in and you know whatever day it lands on I'm, I'm always happy to be here but one day i particularly wanted to be here which i wasn't here for which i was gutted about was the day that we launched this collection the garden gnomes collection the summer gnomes if you like um i desperately wanted to have the launch of this i didn't um but i'm glad that we've still got the opportunity to bring it to you now because this is right up my street right up my alley um i love these gnomes i loved it when we launched the um original gnomes back um christmas time and there was a lot of chatter then wasn't there about yes. well you know gnomes gonks obviously we associate them with winter time with christmas time but why do they always have to be winter why do they always have to be like christmas they must do something the rest of the year so our guys thought you know what let's create the garden gnomes collection and give you the opportunity to create scenes uh with the gnomes doing things not at Christmas time. Um, let's just quickly show you everything that you're going to get in this collection, 124 elements. I love the fact that in the paper pad, we even give you some scenes to get started with. So um, again, you know, if you want to be able to create your own scenes, you can do, but I love the fact that you can cut into these and create the most fun scenes. I mean, the, the paper pad itself, of course, as well, th these obviously you're going to use um, with the gnomes. 
There are papers in here which are um, specific, I think, to the gnomes, but do you know what? You'll use these um, elsewhere in your craft as well. It's such a fun, happy paper pad, Debbie, this, isn't Gorgeous. it? Gorgeous. Gorgeous paper. It's bright, it's cheerful, it's yeah. colourful, um, it's joyous. It is a, a lovely paper pad um, that will work with this collection to bring in that summer theme, that summer theme with these garden gnomes. But I can see so many ways that you'll be able to use this in other aspects of your crafting and yeah. under your crafty stash. Absolutely. Absolutely gorgeous. Ooh, someone's Oops, had a little nibble in there, haven't they? That's Who's not me. Um, Actually, you, it might be. It probably was. Uh, you've got 36 sheets in there of your um, your gorgeous uh, paper, but let's show you all of the other, other elements that you're going to get here. So you've got um, sentiments in here. There's no one like you. And what I love, again, about what, what we do with our collections is it could just so be very easy just to you know give you some stamps. Happy birthday. Happy anniversary. Make them very generic. But we always make sure that, you know, what whatever the uh, collection is, the sentiments are going to be fun to use with the images. So there's no one like you. Happy sweet gnome. There's no better time than summertime. I, I, I just think it's brilliant how um, we managed to do that. So you've got all of those sentiments there. You've then got your summer scene. So once again, um, embossing folder technology. Is this a 3D one? No, normal embossing folder. But you've then also got all of these templates, these stencils to be able to layer over the top to um, really have fun um, and create some gorgeous scenes with that. That always reminds me of the Teletubbies, that one. I, honestly, I can't help it, but because little ones watch it, yeah. <laughs> I see it every single time I look at that. Teletubbies, Teletubbies, say hello. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> Do, you must oh, have a Teletubbies in the US. I thought Teletubbies was everywhere, Charlotte. I think it, it Sh must be. Charlotte, Charlotte, Charlotte's just asked us in our ears. Yeah. Do they have it in the US? Uh, do let us know, stateside uh, friends and family. Let us know because um, I know it's global because I've seen it in foreign languages. Yeah. Um, so do you have it in the US? Um, Tinky Winky. Dipsy. Dipsy. La La. Poo. Pow. What? Poo. Pow. Oh. Tinky Winky was the one with a handbag, isn't Tinky it? Tinky Winky. Tinky Winky's got a handbag. See, I can't remember which one's got one. Which one's a hat? Hat. hat. Is that Tinky hat, Winky? Hat. Is, does he have the hat? Tinky Winky's got the handbag. Dipsy. Dipsy's got the. Oh no, I'm getting confused now. I got confused then because what did Jamie just say in my ear about what his niece? Did you say your niece or your nephew? Yeah. yeah. Your niece. She's four. I bet she's a little sassy pants too because uh, I had a conversation with my little granddaughter, Miss. Sassy all over. She is at four, so I get why. Yeah, Dipsy and Poo. Yes, not Dipstick and Poo. <laughs> <laughs> I need you to say it. Anyway, moving on. Uh, you've also got these glorious sets to be able to create all of the different gnome characters. And again, what I love about this: stamps and dies to create your gnome. But as in the original collection, we also give you these stencils so you can create different costumes for your gnomes as well, which I just think is amazing. There's your gnome girl. There's your gnome boy. And again, with the, all of the different um, stamps and dies that you've got here, you can create your gnomes in different scenarios. So, you know, girl gnome there with the sunglasses on, toasting some marshmallows, watering the flowers, building a campfire. Um, eating a burger. I mean, just amazing. Mr. Gnome here playing the ukulele, doing some fishing. Uh, you know, giving Mrs. Gnome some flowers. He's on the barbecue there as well, doing a bit of gardening. He's got his shades on. You can have so much fun with these and build your own characters. Then to build up all of the different layers for your scenes, you've got a little pond in there, you know, a little gnome with his wheelbarrows and watering cans. You've got a little sign, which you can obviously stamp onto there as well, the little gnome home, should you wish to do that. I mean, seriously, we cannot get away from swings today as well. Uh, your little gnome on the swing, so whether you want to pop the little man on there, the little girl on there, swinging away. Uh, again, stamp and dies in that collection and how cute is the gnome caravan um, again all of the different elements there that you can stamp out uh, and then uh, die cut with all of those, those dies as well it's the most fun happy collection and uh, if you have been waiting to be able to pop your gnomes and gonks in different scenarios other than in christmas scenes this is the collection that you need to go for 53 59 66 28 is your platinum price if you're shopping in the US and um, we can have a look at these now we are I mean I, I did launch it I, I launched it with our lovely Joe yeah I had such a good it is it's it's a real fun collection and um, Debbie's just done a craft along project with it this last week I believe or the week before was it last week week before I know she's oh, doing last, it was last week 
Is it last week? Yeah. I absolutely, honestly, you've got the craft along. You have got the lawn show. You can go and watch lawn show. Um, be warned. Um, position your rod, your fishing rod, what? in a better place than I fished. Oh. Fished? <laughs> Placed? Mine. Um, ah. Is all I'm going to say. You put your rod in the wrong place. I put the you? rod in the wrong place. And it, yes. So yeah. So you could go back and watch that if you want to giggle. You can go back and watch that. And I was with Joe of all people uh -huh. when I did it. <laughs> um, and it's just position it a little bit better. But we've got hours of tutorials of lovely things, including blog uh, pieces. This is a really good, fun collection. It is such honestly, you'll have the time of your life with it. So the main characters that I've got on here are my lovely man, male gnome, Mr. Gnome. You must Mrs. have gnome. named these on the launch show, surely. Do you know what? We did, but I can't remember the names. So who's our social media superstar today? Social superstar Susie on the socials. I wonder if Susie was with us on the... I wonder if she was a social media superstar on the launch. Um... Um... I can't remember the Joe gave them names, let me just tell you. It was Joe that named them. Right. Um, I just can't remember what we what? called them. Rodney? Well, after after that demonstration, <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, oh, it was Sven. Sven? Sven and... What was she called? Sven and... Svetlana. What, eh? What? I was literally no. joking. No, was it? Svetlana? No way. Please, can someone confirm on the social? I can't remember that. It was Sven and Svetlana. Trust what? Joe. I can only, it could only be Joe. I can't believe you got that when you did... You well, were... I just tried to think of a female to name match of Sven. Sven. <laughs> Svetlana. <laughs> wow. Yeah, Great yeah. minds. Great minds think alike, absolutely yep. they do. Uh, so I've just got a bit of cardstock, and I, I say cardstock, it's me the pa uh, paper because we were going to do a bit of colouring, but again, that time runs away with me and you. Um, so what I'm going to do is just stamp out these images, um, and then we're going to do a little bit of die cutting. Um, and then if you have, I mean, I've missed a tiny, I knew I, I could feel it there. I've missed a little bit of tiny detail off there. So I'm going to go back in. Might be that I just didn't stamp it or ink it, but I'll soon find out. Perfect. Oh, no, wait a minute. I've missed a bit off of his shoe. Let's go down there. Did I ink it? <gasps> yes, she yes. did. That's better. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. Um, so let's move those to one side. Each one, and like you said, um, ben, is that each one of them have got a lovely additional set of stamps and there's nothing to stop you from using the bunch of flowers. She could be holding the bunch of flowers. Yeah. Let me just bring this in for a second. Yeah, she could be holding those flowers. Um, she could be holding the rod. She, co she could be a fishing rod. Why not? Lady. Wait a minute. Nothing to... Fishing. Fisherwoman? 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 Fisherwoman. Yeah, she could be a fisher. Of course she could. Like our Debs. A de <laughs> Debbie. <laughs> Debbie Fisher. <laughs> uh, and she could have those uh, sunglasses on. Yes, she, she could play the ukulele. She could strumming a guitar, look. Could, why could, not? Yeah, why not? Yeah. So you can interchange them. And of course, you've got the stencils there to add a little bit of fun too. But the die part is the bit that I'm looking for. So let's go in with our dies. Um, because what you'll do is... And do you know, Craig was bang right with this. Do you know, we've always had this discussion about, and I'm going to agree with Mr. Laird on this one, of, of one of his suggestions. Oh, yeah. Because I tell you that I stamp, I colour, then I cut. However, Mr. Laird pointed out a very good thing the other week, and I thought, oh, my God, I've never thought of it that way. He stamps, he then die cuts, and then he colours. Because do you know if this has moved off slightly? Oh, yeah. You could ruin and it. And you've coloured it in, you could have ruined your image. Yeah. So... I love that idea that he came up with, and I am going to say, Mr. Laird, yes, I absolutely loved that suggestion, and now I'm, I'm kindly borrowing that suggestion. Well, yeah. Because I think that is a spot-on um, way of doing it. Because you're going to be past, a bit miffed, aren't you, if you colour it in and well, the Well, you slips. know what? Yeah, absolutely. When you spent all that time doing all the colouring in, and then you go and put your dye over and you've moved it, or, it's, or, or we know the power of the Gemini, yeah. it's gone like that. Yeah. You've ruined your image. You have. So, great, great little top tip there from our fabulous Craig. Honestly, that I never even thought about. Um, I would just of the, oh, I stamp, I colour, I die cut. Um, what do you do? My, <laughs> I stamp, I colour, I die cut. <laughs> if that was my idea. Um, but no, huh? no. No. That, if I was to take anything from Mr Laird, would be one of his um, fantastic top tips. 
And he has many. He does. As he do does. you, as you all do. That's why people continue to watch us, you see, for the top tips. Um, just quickly, th th there is Teletubbies in the US. Yay. Uh, Terry says we do have the Teletubbies. Our boys love them. Um, and lots of love for these gnomes as well. Susan Capriotti says, I bought all the garden gnomes last year. I love them. I love the gnomes, says Laura. And these mix and match beautifully with the winter gnomes. Uh, and Susan says, I love watching all of the demos. Lots of love for the gnomes. The and gnomes. the gonks. Gonks. Oh, is, is that a... Like, is that a technical, is that a proper name, a gonk? A, well... Is that a, is it an affectionate name? Cause yeah, I've got, so a gonk a is different, isn't it, to a gnome? A gonk is a what? A gonk is, has, has its uh, hat over its eyes, that's a gonk, isn't it? Ah, oh, right, where so, you've got no facial features. Yeah, so you, yeah, so these could be gonks, but then I suppose once you add the... Sun, the sunglasses yeah. you've got a, you've got gnomes yeah then you can, that's how i remember well it might be wrong but that's what i think in my little brain anyway no that's perfect way of thinking i mean look how cute they are really honestly such i i, I never tired when i get see it on my list of what we're going to be bringing to the shows i never tire of bringing these i just think they're such good fun i've had a lot of fun making with these uh, and creating with these um and Honestly, I know that the people who've already got them, I uh, love them too because I've seen the comments. Yeah. You're all loving them. Uh, maybe it's the first time you've seen them or maybe it's just been something that you've thought, do I really need? Can I really craft with? Um, absolutely you can. And that's what we're here to inspire you to do. Um, but yeah, absolutely fabulous. So I've cut all my pieces out. Obviously, I've cut a little bit more in terms of all the extra bits that I've got. So when you colour them in though, and I'm not going to spend because we're already at 20 past seven and we've got a heck of a lot to get through. So when you colour them in, these are what you're going to be left with. And they just come literally, I mean, nothing wrong with her. No. But she comes to life when you add colour to her. And mm. I've just used one of the colours and I've used the... Um, blue around the outside instead of the uh, instead of the gray i've gone with the blue and that's just to give her a little bit of a lift uh, and then of course you've got that lovely swing and um, what i also have done though ben is i've got on i'm going to bring them in like this because i have got my uh, fan on and i don't want them to waft all over the place um i've done my little guitar you're probably thinking like i did when i first got hold of my collection what the ecky thump is that <laughs> What the thump is what? I thought it was a bone. Right, this is genuine. When I got my mm. stamp set and collection, I thought, oh, that's a funny looking bone when I stamped it out. Then realised that when she's on the swing, when she's oh. on the swing, she needs some hands to hold on to her ropes. Yes. So that's what they that Honestly, I looked at it, Ben. I kept looking, thinking, that is the strangest looking bone I've ever seen. And then I'm thinking there must be a dog somewhere in this collection. But oh, no. Then you've got a little feeties. A little sweeties. Little feeties. Or feeties. Feet, because yep. um, when she's swinging, you yeah. don't have your feet in this direction. No. You have them. Whee! Oh, they're sticking upwards. out, aren't you? So, yeah. yeah, so they're sticky uppies. So you put them on like that. And I will, I will put this together and show you. Because now she's sat on a swing. There you go. Because she's got her feet out. Oh, see. Yeah, and then you've got the lovely little sunglasses. So it could either be her that's wearing them. Yeah or it can be him that's wearing them. And I think I'm going to have a Mr. Cool Dude because I think he looks so cute with them. Um, and then, cute. of course, she is being serenaded by the young man there himself. Yeah. So let's put all of this together because um, I did one of these cards for um, a blog, well, I say a blog, a little, um, a little demonstration that I did for our socials. Um, and I've repeated it because it's such a cutesy card. I've used our um, nesting dies uh, to create this um, uh, aperture. And I've gone in with a diorama card. And so with this, I'll give you the measurements. It actually measures at 11 by six and a half. Now I wanted some big chunky uh, handles at the side. Normally you can either do an inch to two inches. It, it, to do a diorama card, as long as you remember when you're making it, that your pieces of cardstock are the same size, You've got the, the right way to get that lovely uh, theatre kind of style card. So that measures in at two and a half inches and three inches because I just wanted an half inch strip. What I've done though is I have used that gorgeous background paper because rather than doing a background scene, I thought, well, that's already made for me, Ben. Already made. Yeah. So we're going to stick that into the back. Make sure I've got that trimmed down, actually. Yes, you did. Uh, pop my glue on. Just to say as well, very quickly, Suzanne says on the Christmas double-sided set, do the words such as joy and Noel come included? They do. Yes, they do. So um, if that's what was uh, stopping you from buying them, 
uh, you can uh, buy. You, you get the joy, you get the Noel. Everything you saw on the boards um, comes in those dies. Um, and Stacey says, the male gnome is like a ZZ top dude. I yes, literally he is. said that a minute ago. <laughs> totally. Absolutely. 110% totally. Uh, it looks like a little character or looks like one of the real uh, ZZ top man, men. Mm, yeah. All three of them have got beards, haven't they? Uh, Wait a minute. Is there two or three? There's three. Two members two? of ZZ. Oh, no, no, no. Wait a minute. Three. Is there two or three? There's the two guitarists, isn't there? And then, oh, I don't know. Do you know? It's good job we haven't got that in a musical quiz question, isn't it? Because I, I thought oh, there was Oh, yeah, three. there's me and you. Oh, yeah, music Oh, yeah, we well, know all about music. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I think there's three, isn't there? Oh, there's three, but only the two main guys have the beards. It looks like the drummer's... Yeah, the, the drummer's just got, like, a tash. Oh, well. Yeah. There we go. That's why no one remembers him. Because he's got a tash and not a beard. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so I'm just sticking my two panels down together. Oops, don't move that, Debbie. There we go. So I've got my two panels down, and you can literally fold that now and get it a little bit um, squashed. If you're going with a thinner one, you can tuck it in even more, so you can tuck the flaps right inside. Um, and then you can... Um, uh, you can... <coughs> Yeah, you can create a nice little uh, flatter feature to go inside your cards. Um, I've made myself two lovely panels that stick on those said tabs. Tabs. Um, that I'm going to now pop on there. Um, so let's go in. <laughs> do any of these gnomes have arms? <laughs> what? Says Rosalind. They do, because yeah. they they're just tucked in their tunics, aren't they? Yeah, just yeah. tucked in. Yeah. Yeah, or, or, or behind his beard. Oh, what? He's hiding, he's hiding his, his, his arms behind his beard. Oh, yeah, yeah. But you wouldn't see his arms, would you? If you had a, you know, if you had a beard that long, yeah, you, you, wouldn't, you wouldn't see them. <laughs> I wonder what he's playing on his little guitar there. Oh, uh, oh, let's have a think. What would he play? What would he serenade her with? Um, That's a good question. What would he serenade her with? Oh, I'm trying to think of a ZZ Top song now. <laughs> give, me, give me all your loving. <laughs> Give me your loving, all your hugs and kisses too. Sharp dressed man. Oh yeah, I love that one. You know, baby, for a sharp dressed gnome. I can't think of. I think that's the only two ZZ Top songs I know. Did they not sing? Did they have one called Legs as well, or was that someone else? Legs. She's got legs. They probably did knowing them, yeah. They, that, I think actually you might be right on that one. Um, let's just make sure I've got a sat on a seat and a. Yeah, legs. Yeah, we don't want her arms right up here behind back of her head, do we? We want her arms. Where could we put? No, yeah, we'll have her there. That looks about right, doesn't it? Uh, Mind you, it looks like she's got a set of fairy wings now. No, yeah, let's it does. Do, oh, let's just go, go down back, a bit. Right, right, I'm just going to go down a bit. Let me just yeah. see if I can get that off. Is that. Sorry, Aunt Penny's just message saying the, the drummer of ZZ Top, his last name is Beard. Get away! You've made that <laughs> up. Right. You've made that up. Surely you've made that up. That. That is never right. If it is, it's classic. ZZ Top. You t are you checking it? Members. Yeah. Uh, yeah. There we go. That's better. Frank Beard. No. Frank Beard. No. Yep. Oh my God, that's that's so funny. Uh, and Linny says, "Lol, why would the gnomes need a bone?" Debbie, you crack me up. Why would they need a bone? Well, because you said you thought oh. it was a bone, didn't you? <laughs> but and that's because I was looking for the dog on there. I was like, and then I'm thinking, this is a gnome collection, not a dog collection. So, yeah, you'll have to excuse. It's the way I think. Yeah. Um, and I genuinely, I just, it's because I couldn't see it in colour. And at the point when I got them, um, I didn't see any design team makes or anything like that. So I, I, I was literally sat there puzzling myself, thinking, what is this? <laughs> Sorry. Excuse you. Bless oh, me. that was a nice wet one. <laughs> What are you doing? Because you sneezed. You sounded really wet. Do you know when you... Do you know, you know what I mean? You're like that. I can't do the actual noise. Well, but it's true. That's what it sounded like. It sounded like a... You know what I mean? Where you spray everywhere. That's what that meant. A sneeze that comes with fangs, yeah. <laughs> no, it wasn't. Out. I just, because I, sne I sneezed down, so I didn't want to sneeze. So you sneeze down? I, I sneeze oh, the down. The so sneezes, aren't they, though? When you can't control a sneeze, the worst is when you're in the car and you just oh, can't control yeah. a sneeze and you're, you've got your hands on the steering yeah. wheel and you sh and you, and you, because you know that your body's going to shut the eyes and you're hoping that you're not in a road where there's cars everywhere. And my sneezes are like a, ha, 
choo, that kind of, <laughs> literally, ha choo, literally, and nearly knocked my head out on my car steering wheel because it's, they come with such force. Um, but, but they do go, yeah, what was that again, that phrase? Sneeze with, what did you say, Sneeze Jamie? with friends, he said. Yes, that comes with friends. Is, is it just me as well, but does anyone love a good sneeze? I love really? A, I love having a sneeze. Really? Yeah, I do. I really enjoy it. Why? I don't know. It's just a, just a it's good to have a sneeze, isn't it? Well, yeah, if you clear things out, it was, yeah, but uh, I mean, the way you just went off, you cleared everything out. <laughs> Nothing came out. <laughs> Stop talking about me sneeze. It was just a, just a sneeze. It was loud, wasn't it, Charlotte? Charlotte Sorry. jumped. You made Charlotte jump. Was, that I, loud? I tried to wave because a minute ago I thought I was going to sneeze, and I got Charlotte to cut my mic. But that one, that one just, it just came out. It surprised me. <laughs> uh, can I just ask a question? Let's stop talking about the you sneeze. You can ask the question. Uh, later. Debbie says, Mary Pat, um, did you give measurements for this card? I seem to struggle with chatting and listening at the same time. Yes, I did. Um, Sorry, if I remember rightly, if I just spread it out a little bit, let me just go back to it. It's uh, 11 inches by six and a half inches, and I've scored um, the ends. So if, if I tell you at two and a half inches and three inches and then just reverse it on the other side two and a half and three do it on both sides on your top and your bottom part um, and then create your aperture use your nesting dies I've just used our fancy ones here um, that I've got in my crafty stash I carry them uh, literally everywhere with me so that if I have to craft on the hoof so to speak I've got a set of nesting dies handy and ready yeah. um, so that's the measurements of that card okay. and then when you're putting your panels in just come down a quarter of an inch um, and it just gives a nice little frame because what I'm wanting to do and I'm just going to make sure I've got the glue in the right places because I'm going to come up at the top are you going to sneeze again then Ben? I thought I was but I'm, I'm fine thank that's you for the awful thing about sneezing isn't you it? never quite know when it's going to you never know when it's going to come when it's going to get you thank you for you all the feel one coming on. views by the way um, by the, Linda says cover your sneeze I did I did cover it you I, did yes I sneezed down yes you did because I didn't want to because sometimes if you sneeze sometimes when you sneeze <laughs> sometimes <laughs> <laughs> only you could turn it into a song sometimes when you sneeze um, it, I, it, even if you cover it I didn't want it to go all over there because I, I chew I didn't want it and so I went, I chew like that. So I did. Oh, you couldn't see that because I was in the box. But anyway, it was covered and it was down. Yes, it was. So, yes, it was. I you. can vouch for that. <laughs> right. So we've got her swinging in the middle of the aperture. Little legs uh, stuck there. Look how cute she looks. Um, and then we're going let to let's, let's have him. Oh, I mean, come on. This, the, the, the play on the words is just fabulous because Ben... There's no one like you, oh, my love. Thank you. Absolutely no one like you. Um, do I have it here or up at the top or a little skew with? Oh, I um, think. Oh, there. I think you, not, not there? No, there. There? Yeah. Well, you see, I'm going to position him now because oh. I'm going to stick him on. And I think I'm going to have him right underneath her. Yeah. No put, pointing him over here. We don't want, we don't <laughs> want him right over there. Look at his. <laughs> He's been on the wonk, he's been on that juice. Um, let's, uh, gnome juice. I wonder, what, I wonder what they drink, gnomes. Gnomes, they probably yeah. drink... Um, what do you think they drink? Um, oh, I'm not very quick on this. Uh, no, uh, no, uh, um, I, can't, I don't know. <laughs> Anything from the gallery? No. Uh, yeah. Big glass yeah, of ale. A bit, yeah. Yeah. Like a... Um, like a Stein. I was going to say a homebrew one. That's yeah. what I was going to say, a homebrew ale. Now, um, Pop in his little... Uh, <laughs> this is just so cute. Every time I do one, Ben, they put a smile on my face. Me too. I just look at him and he's like smiling at me and I'm just thinking, you're so super cute. Uh, you're just divine. And I'm going to put him there because he's going to serenade her, not with a ZZ Top song. <laughs> We're going to go in with a nice... Um, I was going to say... Uh, hmm, let me think. Not a nice little love song. <laughs> What's a nice little love song? I can't get me. Uh, sometimes off. when we sneeze. <laughs> <laughs> no, a nice little love song. Um, he's probably singing. Um, uh, noming me, noming you. Oh, uh, you. No? Um, no, um, no, we're not going with that one. Maybe he's going to do a Westlife song and on the key change she's going to jump off the swing. <laughs> <laughs> when you tell me that you love me. When you tell me that you yeah. love... Gnome, gnome, gnome wear over the rainbow, yeah? Who oh, sings, um, God, Jamie, you're getting as bad as Ben. Um, you've, been, you've been working with Ben too many times. <laughs> Who um, sings that song? Um, what was the one you just suggested? 
No, before... Um, you, you, when you tell me that you love yeah, me, so Diana that? Ross Diana song. Ross. So Diana Ross sung it, and then they collaborated together, because they did it on their Love Songs album. Who? At Westlife. Oh, so West they Life. covered the Diana Ross song on their own, mm -hmm. and then she liked it that much, she asked if they could collaborate together, oh. and they released it together, because she loved their version of it. Um, and can I just say, Diana Ross, what an amazing... She was I mean, brilliant. honestly... How old is she now? 80? 80-odd, isn't she? 80-odd, and yeah. she was on that Glastonbury... 78? Yeah. Nearly 80, uh, in my eyes, Charlotte. Uh, but on the stage at Glastonbury, belting out a tunes. <laughs> ah, honestly, loved it, loved it. Uh, and there you go, because this is something else I love, because, Ben, there really is no one like you, my love. Thank you. There's no one like you either. That's Aww. why we have such a laugh whenever we're together here at Crafters TV. Um, we're going to give you some time to check out your baskets in a few moments, but just to remind you of the deal here, £53.59 is the platinum price for that Garden Gnomes collection. It's so much fun, honestly. Do you know what? As much as hopefully we've put a smile on your face over the course of this show, we've got some real kind of crowd-pleasing collections here, haven't we? The sunflower is going to make you smile. The gnome collection is going to make you smile uh, as well. Um, Aunt Penny just saying, gnome one does it better. <gasps> Nobody no does. does it better. It oh, I better. love that. That's Spire a love cracking me. one. By what? The spy loved me. Spy, is it really? Yeah. Well, you did say you were into your James Bond. Yeah, Roger Moore. That was his uh, oh. third outing as Bond. Uh, the show's going by too fast, says Rosalind, having so much fun listening to you guys. Uh, and uh, one, <laughs> one or a couple of comments to take us to the break. Um, Jane says, I love sneezing. Here you go. Uh, my brother never sneezes once, always three or four times in a row. And Gwen Terry, resident Riddler, I'll leave you with this one before we have a quick break, says, a good sneeze is like a good gas passing. Pardon? Oh, <laughs> oh gee, what a relief. That wasn't me that said that. That was Gwen. Uh, we, we will, we will uh, head to a quick break. We'll come back with more. But we've got the demo of the show, demo of the day, demo of the week all to come. And we'll be back in just a few moments' time. <laughs> Welcome to Club Inspire, the crafter's companion community where you can feed your crafty obsession. Join our fantastic loyalty club today and receive 20% of your first order. We'll also give you 250 points to help get you started. Other benefits of joining Club Inspire include exclusive special offers and discounts for Club Inspire members only, exclusive sneak peek previews of brand new product launches, and of course, the Club Inspire community group on Facebook, where you can access exclusive content such as downloads, offers and inspiration. And of course, you can chat and share your makes with other members. You'll receive one point for every pound, dollar or euro you spend. And the more points you receive, the more benefits you'll unlock. So what are you waiting for? Sign up, join the club and start rewarding yourself today. Quick buy, all your crafty must-haves in a flash. Put away your tape measure and fabric scissors. The Threaders Fabric Cutter offers accuracy and precision with every cut. This handy tool slices through fabric in a guillotine style. Its ergonomic design features a comfortable and protective handle, so it's safe and easy to use whether you're right or left-handed. Its 45 millimeter rotary blade will cut up to six layers of fabric at a time. So your sewing, quilting, and upholstery project times are cut down to size. It's equipped with a measuring guide in metric and imperial for a perfectly accurate cut every time. The built-in grid ruler has 30 degree, 45 degree, and 60 degree angle lines. So you can cut fabric on any angle, including the bias. Quick buy. All your crafty must-haves in a flash. Quick buy. All your crafty must-haves in a flash. Achieve crisp, precise, and perfect die-cutting results every time with the Gemini Accessories Plastic Shim. The idea behind the plastic shim is that it creates a thicker plate combination, offering an even more precise die-cutting result with each pass. 
Simply pop a plastic shim between your cutting plates and then roll through your Gemini die cutting machine and voila, an amazing precise cut every time. Plastic shims work really well with detailed or thin metal dies. So if intricate cutting is your thing, then the Gemini Accessories Plastic Shim is your best friend. Quick buy, get yours now. Welcome back. <laughs> we're going to um, be uh, we're going to have a look at, through some other items that we've got on the show. Um, we're also going to get ready to do the uh, vote for the demo of the show in just a few moments. Uh, Lynn Harvey says, "I watched a spy love me last night, Ben. Who is your favourite Bond?" Well, my favourite Bond is Roger Moore. My <laughs> name's Bond, James Bond. Roger, Roger's the number one. My my um, favourite Bond. Daniel Craig. You know what I'm going to say, don't you? Daniel Craig. No. Oh. Oh, God, no. No? P no. Sean. No. No, that's my mum's. Oh. Um, Piers. Oh. Mm. Now, here's the thing. Yes? Like, he's my second favourite. Oh, I love I, him. I thought he was a great Bond. Yeah, absolutely. You see, I grew up with him because... I, I, oh, producer Jamie. Because he was Remington, Remington Steel. Remington Steel. He was Remington Steel, and I fell instantly in love with yet another... He's like a man that makes my blood well, Ooh. tall, dark, tall, dark and handsome, tall, dark isn't he? and handsome, yeah. beautiful, a really good actor as well, yeah. can I just say? And also, um, is not afraid to take the mick out of himself, yes. as proved in Mrs. Doubtfire and the Mamma Mia films, because well, I like him in those. Yeah, but the best for me, Bond, is Piers. That's just my personal opinion. I'll, I'll go Roger, yep, Piers, yep. Then, I don't know after that. I really enjoyed the, Tim the two Timothy Dalton movies. I don't think he did, he only do two, he did two, yeah. He did The Living Daylights and Licence to Kill. Got a licence to kill! Gladys Knight. Yeah. Um, and I, I enjoyed those. Not I don't think they were great Bond movies, but they were great sort of action movies. Uh, and yeah, I mean, Sh Sean Connery, I think it depends who you grow up with, really. That's yeah. why I like Roger. He was Bond whilst I was growing up, so that's why I like uh, Roger. Pierce was a great Bond superstar, Susie, on the socials. He was. Although, if you read um, some of the interviews um, that he's done. He d he never really um, thought he was a great Bond. Like he he obviously did the movies, but he doesn't really rank himself as a as a I great Bond. I don't know why he thinks that. No, I don't. Because he was awesome. Uh, Lynn says my favourite Bond, Sean Connery. Sean Connery will always be Bond, says Jane. Yeah, I, as I say, I think it depends who you who you grew up with. I just like Roger Moore as Bond because he, he, he did all the action, but he had all of the sort of, he was very tongue in cheek with it, wasn't he? Yes, he was. He had all yeah. of the one liners, and I, I just love I love all of that. That's why I love Arnold so much because you get all of the action, but then you get the the one liners as well. So um, yeah, um, scratch and reveal. This is the same price, by the way, that we had the other day when I was like oohing and ahhing and falling over myself on this kit because it is amazing. Uh, normally £25, $30, 10% saving, less you're 20 if you're platinum, £17.99 or $21.56. Basically, this is um, the most fun that you can uh, possibly have, I think, um, by surprising someone with a card. You get um, the, the box here, which contains um, 12 card blanks and 12 envelopes. So, you know, you can obviously make your own uh, card blanks and envelopes after you've used those. You're going to get coloured card in here too, plus 57 scratch and reveal stickers. I'll show you actually. Um, and then you're also going to get your printed papers and all of your um, stamps in here too. So uh, card blanks and envelopes. These are the stickers that you're going to get, which you're going to pop over the thing that you want the recipient to scratch off and, and reveal. And do you know what? We had so much fun with these when we had these on the other day with um, Michelle. Because, as I'll show you in just a few moments' time, here's all, your, all of your paper that you're going to get. Um, because, of course, you, you've got so many stamps in here which you can, um, you know, use the kind of question and then stamp the answer underneath. But as Michelle did the other day, if you want to then have something a little bit different underneath the actual sticker itself, you can write it in. You know, you, you can stamp something else in. Because uh, you could literally have um, the most fun with this set. I'll just quickly show you the boards because um, you get tons and tons of stamps. And that's the point, isn't it, with this? Uh, that, 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 you know, if you're revealing, I don't know, a birthday present, or maybe um, you want a, an extravagant proposal, for example, or uh, maybe you want to reveal to a member of the family that you're going away on holiday. But you get all of these different stamps in here, things like, guess what? Uh, you've got um, things like, uh, let's celebrate in style, You've got, I mean, even if you wanted with these as well, you could create your own sort of fun little uh, lotto cards, couldn't you, as well? And stick like, you know, maybe three different uh, 
scratch and reveals on and have different you know have two like prizes and then like a booby prize underneath i think great around christmas time these would be a lot of fun but for new babies you could do like a gender reveal card uh, presents engagements celebrations you know if you're going away if you just want to take your other half on a, a dinner date for example i mean th there's so many different things um that you could do with this collection I and mean, is this a collection that you've um crafted with debbie the yeah, scratch and reveal yeah. it's fun isn't it a lot it of fun it is a lot of fun yeah um, because it's it's true you've got all of those pieces there but you've got a lot of those scratch um reveal 57 um, yeah there's a lot there to be going at because it might be a case that you want to say a message to someone and you want them to reveal it i love that idea we said that right back from the beginning think of those stamps as being your uh, guide to 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 guide you into some kind of idea of what you want to reveal but think ultimately of the secret messages that you can be sending to yeah. someone and really putting a smile on their face because you can ask them something and it's their face when they reveal it off when you show what you've actually put under there. I absolutely love this collection. The concept behind it, amazing. I just love the one that says, pack your bags. Pack scratch, your bags. Scratch, 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 scratch. I did that, I did I that. I want a divorce. <laughs> I did it, we did. Did <laughs> you? Someone, I did that, I'm like, pack your bags. And I didn't realise myself, I'm like, what, your, yeah, you could get, just make sure you put the right message under there. But honestly, yeah. it's a joyous collection, that. It really is a fabulous one. Um, same price as I say that we had it on just a few weeks ago, that 10% saving. Um, it's a lot of fun. You can pick that one up today for just $17.99 or $21.56. Uh, just before we have a look, uh, we're going to have a look at the Say It With Style um, box in just a second. But before we do that, we have got three votes to do in the next 15 minutes. So, demo of the show, first of all. Let's get Debbie to recap and remind you on what she's made, and then you can get voting. So number one, where we started with the lovely sunflower collection, uh, where I showed you how to use that embossing folder with the stencils and then create your own little background in the back as well on the inside. That's nice. Number two was my little Winter Wishes gift tag, which I said Cute. I was going to turn into a gift tag rather than a card. Uh, number three is positively one of the most joyous fun collections that we've done mm -hmm. um, in the Nature's Garden Ranges, which is the Garden Gnomes. So three, two, oh, one you decide uh, get voting you've got about three minutes to get your votes in on that uh lenny says are there refills of the scratch reveal stickers i don't think there are currently but i know that's been suggested before um so do keep your ears peeled for that currently no uh but who knows further down the line uh and lynn m just says debbie i watched your master class this morning the technique of using glitter pens and shaving cream my husband went out and bought me some so Aww. i'm having a blast creating backgrounds whilst i watch Aww, well, that's lovely amazing. isn't it hubby of the day right there absolutely um let's have a quick look at the say it with style um collection so this again um we launched oh, i lose track of time it was probably uh six weeks ago maybe a couple of months but it is the ultimate i think um collection if you are wanting to be able to well say it with style and what's so clever about this collection not only are you going to get um over 125 elements you're going to get um a folder you're going to get um, you're going to get your um, uh, magnetic panel in there as well. You're going to get your divider. And I think it is 176 stamps, I want to say, um, in, in total in this collection. But the clever thing about this is you've got these dies which work in conjunction with the stamps. So you can create loads of different sentiments each and every time you use them on a whole host um, of different uh, kind of tags and banners for £75.99. Still the same price when we launched them with that 55% saving. Um, it's all about if you're someone who batch makes particularly this is a system that you absolutely need to go for because we've talked a lot today haven't we about time saving and that's what this is really isn't it absolutely and i'm going to start with the start of this collection because it is all about what's in here this is the magic behind this and it's been so well thought out of because it's making things really easy for you as a crafter Hands up to those who that spend absolutely ages thinking of a sentiment, pop your sentiment on, have to cut it out, and then you have to repeat that a few times, especially if you're batch making. We've made it really easy, we've made it really fun, uh, because it's in the form of this magic folder, which did, literally does say it with style. Yeah. This bit is the bonus bit. This is the extra bit. This is the, this is the little thank you bit. This is the extra value that you're gonna be getting. What's worth its weight in gold is what's in there, because it is ultra, honestly, just absolutely fabulous what are you after i'm just quickly coming over okay i noticed i saw you coming um, what are you coming for number one please demo number of the one. show oh this oh thank you very much mm -hmm. so we've got a quick very quick demo of the day then yeah yeah so number one where we started with our master class with our dimensional box so excited to have these dies back within our range absolutely beautiful but at the most phenomenal price go back and check that out 
Number one. And number two, the fabulous sunflowers. One. Oh. Thank you. you decide. There you go. Get both you go. Carry on. Yes, so let's go back to that magic. Now, this is my own folder. Um, I did a craft along yesterday uh, where we created a scrapbook page. This is the scrapbook page that I used. Um, I just didn't put a little um, uh, photo of my loved ones, which Ben's got over there because it's. Um, Bless it, it's in the demo of the week, although we know which one's going to win the demo of the week. Oh. Uh, yes, we do. No. Uh, but, uh, say it with style. It was all about my family, so I've used all the family elements in there. We'll go back to that in a moment because this is where the magic is. We've got our lovely two compartments. Now, mine's full already because I've been having a right old play with mine. Um, and popped in in my two wallets i've already got mine printed in different colors different styles from using quick dry inks to um uh, permanent ink to using um my glittery one what i did a little bit this morning using a glittery uh, not this morning yesterday a glittery one with a heat emboss technique yeah i've also got in my second wallet here this is where you could be putting all your tags as well but i've put all my paper i'll talk about that in a moment because that's in that additional box but we've also got the fabulous and again these are coming in your box but they are what you're going to put into your binder because you've got your magnetic sheet with your die plates and this is where the magic happens because we have got this plate with these crisscrosses that yep. make it so simple and so easy to use in different styles of um, tag sentiments um, to statement sentiment pieces like your love hearts and your circles. You've got your lovely scrolls on here as well, which is making more sense when I turn and flick over the other page because this is where you've got all of your, and I'm going to call them the stamp plates. You've got the die plates, you've got the stamp plates to make that system easy. I have to do it in my head like that because it, is, it makes it so simple. Yeah. Because you peel it off the carrier sheet and it comes up, and I'll, I'll leave it on there for now, but it comes out as a one. It's not separate stamps. It's an, a full system. And then all you're going to do is you're going to take the corresponding die. And you're probably thinking, and I said this yesterday, because I said to Jamie, it looks like some little birds have just gone... <laughs> <laughs> through, through, your, through your stamp uh, they haven't it's been it's been designed with all these squiggles that look like we've just gone like this just like this Does it? Uh, but we haven't because it's been designed to work with these and you can see these crisscrosses if i just put crisscross 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 and you're going to line them up with your stamp and let me just make sure i've got that right to show you so you can see now perfectly positioned for your stamps so in one pass of your machine you've got all of those stamps stamped and die cut and that's when you can pop them in your wallets at back at the front if we go back to that front bit you pop them back in your wallets you've got all the cardstock which i'll talk again again in a minute but you can be popping all of these into there so that when you want to say it with style when you want to add that finished product sorry but i can see you looking at no you i'm waiting for you to finish your sentence <laughs> and then we'll do the vote and then you can carry on all right just so that you can get those in there ready to pull out when you need i'll talk about the additional bit in a moment because yes. i can see how ben is eager to share with you what we've got to do next which is the important bits well um we will find out the, the rest about this collection in just a second demo of the day as voted for by you is the sunflower card oh. uh, which is marvelous i love that really really Thank happy you. really really fun so let's quickly um get the vote going now on the demo of the week so here we go um eyes to the screen please number one um is this one which we did on monday it was the craft along with michelle um do you know what more than anything i'm so super pleased that i've actually managed to craft along and create my very own which is in the green room um but that's lovely card number one um is michelle Number two was also a Michelle make using that um, gorgeous floral decoupage on Tuesday. So that's number two. Number three is a Craig card. Oh, that's with the... Um, the corner pieces. Corner pieces, yeah. Yeah, the, um, yeah, the corner panels, they're beautiful. That, that's a lovely one as well. So that's Craig, number three. Number four is um, Jamie from oh! uh, Creative Expressions the first oh! time. Oh! That's the first time we've ever had a third demo party the, in the demo of the yeah, week. Yep. This could be interesting. I know, we have to get some, a new name on the board if that yeah. wins. So that's four. Number five is uh, this beautiful make here, which was uh, Debbie Fisher's That's on gorgeous. I Friday love the chores there. With the um, timeless borders. That's beautiful. five. Number six. 
Oh, this is one of my faves. Get away, he's saying that because I'm with you. Uh, Look at me, little babies. That's so cute. <laughs> uh, that's yours from yesterday. And number seven is the one that you've just voted for, um, which is that gorgeous card with the Sunflower Collection. So one, two, three, four, five, six or seven. You've got three minutes to get your vote in. Uh, and whilst you're doing that, uh, Debbie's just going to finish telling you about the State with Style Collection. Absolutely. And it really is all about saying, with it, saying it with style. You want the sentiments and you want the tags and the, the banners and everything um, to be able to do it really quick and easy. And that's what the guys thought about. They've probably, because they are crafters and they're thinking like crafters that we're making for crafters, that they wanted something that would work for them too because when you're doing this system it's so easy to use and you've got lots of lovely choices on here as well with this i call it the compendium of those sentiments and a lovely set of sentiments we've got birthday wishes in different styles here and i'm just going to read you a few out because there's some beautiful ones on here and some fun ones as well because the fun one here is you're not getting older you're increasing in value <laughs> that's definitely me um there is no uh, such thing as too many candles but, and again, made for me one. Um, we've got um, on here, birthdays are uh, for celebrating. Have a great day. Um, look at this. Happy birthday. You don't look a day over fabulous. Uh, I love that one. I'll just lift that up there. So, there's lots of different ones covering the birthday occasions. Then we've got the time to celebrate ones. And again, all about the occasions from um, sip, sip, hooray. <laughs> Sip, sip, hooray. sip, hooray. I love that one. They could have gone with hip, hip, hooray, <laughs> but they didn't. They've gone with sip, sip, hooray, which I just think is really good fun. Put on your dancing shoes. Another great one there. Um, love and hugs. Congratulations. You're amazing. Um, let's have a little look. Uh, happy retirement. That's not often what you no, find on these. So I love this. Uh, you're engaged. Time to celebrate. Over the moon for you. That could cover all sorts. Yeah. Um, you did it. New baby. Uh, congratulations to Miss and Mrs. Stone as well, who have had their second little baby, and oh, Simon. Yes. Uh, oh, this texted me first thing yesterday morning. And I really? Like, yeah, Simon just messaged me, and I was like, oh my God, Simon, I'm out of the moon. And Anna looks absolutely blinking, fabulous, since she's had a baby. Um, I need to know the secrets. So then we've got the lovely Just To Say segment, and again, all on there, all in one go, one stamp system, one die cut system, tons of tags, tons of sentiments ready for you. Thank you so much. Uh, so very thankful, a bouquet of good wishes, gratitude is uh, the heart's memory, isn't that lovely? Loads and loads of lovely ones, family ties, and then topping it off, our lovely Christmas ones, which, believe you me, we haven't chopped in half, that's it, how they were intended. We've just put a few Christmas in there uh, as a little added extra bonus as well. Um, so literally, a lovely set yeah. that will sit on your craft desk I'll sit at the side of your craft desk. Our mine's on the top of my shelf because I use this ever such a lot. So you've got your Say It With Style and then the added bonus. Now, in your box, you will find that paper that's in the front of my um, binder and you will find the dies that are in there. But there's some additional ones in here and a lovely box that you're going to be able to use as well because lovely magnetic clasp um lovely um always beautiful presented we've got baker's twine in here we've got our lovely um ribbon in there as well that's going to be perfect for your tags some of those tags have got like little slits in that you can thread your ribbon through and your twine through uh, that's all your paper so that's what you'll be getting in yours lovely shades of pastel colors in there all your card blanks and envelopes to get yourself started with that's a little added embellishment detail for you at that fabulous price i mean this for me it's no wonder it's done honestly people have loved it and and why we did a craft along because i know a lot of people said craft along with you say it with style yes we wanted to show you how to use it that was the occurring thing that i got asked about yeah. how do you use it which is what we've done and honestly it is a bell to this one great value for money and one that you're going to use time and time and time again thank you for um all of the votes that have just come in on the demo of the week uh let's narrow this down uh, i can tell you what it's not going to be it's not going to be that one there uh it is not going to be uh that one there uh it's not going to be that one there it's not going to be that one there it's one of these three for oh, the demo is in the running of the I, week I, i've got me on i'd said to you at the beginning i think i know where this is going i can it's a beauty tell you absolute beauty in third place Jamie. Oh, oh, 
Well, we're, we're giving him a big accolade because I think that's an amazing achievement to get in our um, demo of the week finale. Yeah. But what is the winner? Oh, no, we're forgetting some shot. I'm not going <laughs> to... The winner of the demo of the week... You've done it! No! <laughs> yes! <laughs> You're kidding me! No, oh it's very, God. very close, but you've just oh done it. Oh, my God, thank you. I didn't know what. I said to you at the beginning of the show, and I said this at the beginning of the day, what a belter of a project that was with Michelle and you, because you did a stellar job. Thank you very much. I'll go and put my star on my name then. Thank you. Yes. Oh. I'm humbled. Thank you very much. Uh, massive thank you to Debbie. Thank you to all of the team. Thank you to Superstar Studio. Thank you to Radical Rachel. Thank you to Tracy. Thank you to Jamie. Thank you to Charlotte. Thank you to Ty. Thank you to you for watching. Uh, we'll put that star up on the board. I'll be back with you tomorrow uh, with, a, with a Jan Day. Yes, it is a Jan Day. And we've got the launch of that amazing vintage snowman collection. Uh, thanks for a fantastic Sunday. We will see you tomorrow here on Crafters TV. Bye.